Wait. I need something. Hold on. Clean up, you guys. Okay. Hopefully it looks okay. Oof. All right, guys, let me know if you can see me. Let me know. We are in my house. <laughs> Whew. I smell like shrimp and lobster. <laughs> okay. Okay, yes, y'all can see me. Ah, hello, y'all. Okay, we are in my place right now. So if you guys haven't seen yet, um, I bought a house and this is my housewarming live stream. Uh, and we have a special guest, her roommate. Yay. <laughs> yeah. oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Mr. Lydia says, no, I can't be your roommate. No. Yeah. It's okay. He only, said we're already paying our mortgage. I can't help you pay yours. Only whenever um, Mr. Lydia you know, gets mad at her. <laughs> you do have a comfy couch. So. It is pretty comfy. I mean, but carpet's pretty comfy too. <laughs> okay, guys. <laughs> but yes, welcome to my home. Um, should we do a tour first? Okay, do you Let's... want me to hold it? Yeah. And you tour it? Okay. Or what do you want to do? Um, it's okay, here. Well, let me put this away because okay. I use this just to clean. I think the most important part of the tour is right mm -hmm. here in the kitchen. If you ever come over to Norma's, do not sit on this first stool. You may die. This, this one? Is the wobbly one. <laughs> I almost just sat on it and I was like, oh, God. I know. I told you, I have to get rid of them. Yeah. I have that... to change it out. Well, these two are okay, but this one is not. Yeah. Okay. okay. Tour time. So, tour time. This is going to be hard. I feel like start I'm... downstairs. Okay, let's let's do that. Pretend everybody close your eyes. <laughs> Nobody look. Close your eyes. <laughs> okay, let's see. Um, first we got, oh, thank you, Wolf. Wolf123 says, hello, how is the new house? The house is, it's cool. It's, I'm still experimenting with what needs to get done. Because, yeah, I don't. Well, you've only lived here for not very long. Yeah. So I don't remember how long. Oh, it's so much colder down Right? There. I don't know what the heck. Oh, my goodness. Here, I'm going to turn these down do you want wait do you have a i don't have light i mean i have like those side lights oh yeah can you turn on those side lights yeah okay sorry this is is dark right here um oh here so that's just touch activated there that one yes oh interesting okay and then we'll turn on this light and we'll turn on down here yeah you know? it's freezing in this it's room not freezing but yeah so it's significantly Significant, significant, significantly, significantly. I got you. In this room because it is downstairs and the light doesn't really hit it. But yeah, so this is my bedroom, guys. We are downstairs. Um, I'm not very good at decorating. Um, well, so it's very basic. It's still like all my old stuff from the last one. Um, but just, I would say less cluttered. Yes. Yeah, because I don't have... Yeah, it's stuff. not... It still feels cozy to me. Like, I like that you have your little teddy bear over there. Um, You've got a nice little seating chair. I like the warm light from your, yeah. your lamps over there. It's like a very nice, warm, cozy light. So, fun, fun fact, not so fun. Um, I need to like sleep with the light on or with something on, whether mm -hmm. it's like a TV. Mm -hmm. No, I need to sleep with the TV on. That's mm -hmm. what it is. It, but the thing is that if only the TV is on, it, it feels really bright. So I have to have at least one of them just turn on to like the first level of brightness. And this is a yeah. fun fact I learned about Norma when we started doing 24 hour videos. Yeah. Because I am the opposite. I need to sleep. Well, I do always have like headphones in that are playing some sort of white noise. Yes. But I had turned the lights off, no TV. And so when we started doing 24-hour videos, I had to adjust. I know. I had to put the TV on. However, though, like for <laughs> brown and blue... I, That's true. I fell asleep uh -huh. immediately. No TV was needed. I think you kept the light on just because you were still looking at your text messages or something. Yep. I 
fell asleep right away. Which one was the one before that? Uh, Palms or Lake Las Vegas? I don't know, but there was like a few. Lake, I, I think Lake Las Vegas, away. we couldn't figure out our TV. Um, Wasn't that true that we couldn't figure out how to like turn it on or we couldn't figure out maybe. how to change the channel? I don't know, but <laughs> lately in the past few 24-hour videos, I go straight to sleep because we're so dead tired. Yep. Um, but yeah, this is the bathroom. The, the small bathroom. For a very this small a person. <laughs> I'm five feet, so imagine, like, I can touch my bath, what's it called? My shower over here. Shower door. And it's, it passes my, so it is very small. People are saying you need to talk a little bit louder, by the way. Yeah. I mean, I think it's because you're, you're closer. I think so, too. Yeah. But, yeah, so this is very small. Um, come come in the shower with me. Wow. Uh, wow. Okay. Yikes. We have to close the door all the way. Okay. I feel like I'm about to get murdered. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, yeah, I don't really – oh, here. Come closer. So, but, yeah, I don't have much. I just have – at first it, were, it was all here, but then I felt like it was getting really wet mm -hmm. right here, and it was, like – causing the little rings mm. so now it's all over here so i use oh i was wasn't it with you when yep. i bought this so yeah we got the target foaming cream cleanser because i hate cleansers that like dry out your face um oh isn't this so beautiful that is actually really cute i think you bought that with me too yes i did and then i just have um uh, hair mask body wash and then yeah just what any what, wait, what kind of, what kind, what brand do you use? Mm. I don't think it's I've ever um, actually seen this. For Messy, I bought it at like a hair store. Not just like Walmart or Target or any of those. I went to like a specific hair store um, and they were on sale. So, I don't know. I keep hearing that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I keep hearing that like herbal lessons and all that's like really bad for you. It is. It um, like oh, strips cool. your hair. Should we check out what's in here? Is this... This is it is okay. it approved? This is approved. Um, this is me trying to. This is actually pretty well organized, honestly. Yeah. So obviously, I I do need to find something. I need to get like an organizer for right here, <laughs> so that way I can put more stuff. Because I you have a super stuff. chat. Hold on. Oh, cool. I'll let you read that. Scroll so, just a little bit. <laughs> says Hank the Schrader says, um, <laughs> you can fit five numbers in that shower. Could we? We probably could. Yeah, hundred percent. Because two, one stands here, three in the middle. Ah, uh, I do agree. One, you one, and mean? three, yeah, right there. Can you stand here? <laughs> yeah, you can stand here. Yeah. What, is this? Oh, this is a bench, I guess. Okay. I guess to wash your feet, as what always. You, if, I feel uh, like if you sat here, you'd get waterboarded. I guess okay. I don't know. Oh, uh, thank you, Philly. Uh, Philly, I did the hey a mirror one a Norman. <laughs> What's up, Miss Jelly and Lydia? What's up? Okay, let's get out of here because it's a very small space. And yes, yes. I am. Um, and there's your kombucha in the trash. And, and yes, and the squatty potty. Yep. I used to have a smaller um, trash. Smaller than that? Yeah, because I didn't, you know, you don't, I don't need to put much in there. And now because <laughs> instead of I, having to go all the way upstairs, I just put it in there. Okay. All right, let's go. Oh. My little hallway. Oh, hold on, let me turn off your light. Oh, yes, please. <gasps> I got my first, okay, tell me, I don't know if what the hell. I got my first electricity bill. Oh, no. But <laughs> I have a feeling that it's a mix of jade and here. It was $200. For what? I don't like. Wait, you, why would it be a mix of jade and here? Because it's the same envy energy, oh, you know? Okay, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Um, but yeah. This Wait till you get your heating and cooling bills. Oh, Those Jesus. are the really fun ones. I know. Um, this is my laundry closet. It's not even a room. It's a laundry closet. Is that a slut? <laughs> yeah. Oh. So I just put them in here. Nice. I know. Okay. I never knew you I know slut. everybody is like, oh, now that you have a, uh, a garage, you can store stuff in there. I don't want to store stuff in there. You want to park in really. there. I want to park in there and that's <laughs> it. Like I'll store stuff in my house and whatever. <laughs> But I don't want my garage to be like a full mess, if that makes sense. Well, I don't think you even have, because you're a minimalist, it's not like you have yeah. tons of stuff to put in there anyways. I know. Okay, let's go up this way. Cribs. Yeah, Cribs Span <laughs> Mexican edition. Oh, um, let's do this really quick. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Other way, other way. Okay, this way. It? All right. Um... 
Oh, Lydia got me some flowers. I did. So. From Trader yes. Joe's. Shout out to Trader Joe's for having cheap but fresh flowers. They, they had a ton do. too right now. I think maybe because it's Easter. Yeah. So they had like a lot of different kinds. So. While, wait, speaking of housewarming, hold on. Speaking of housewarming, Norma's putting her roses in the vase. And I convinced Norma to do a housewarming list. So I got Norma roses. If you guys want to get something for Norma, um, I think Pat has the link. Yeah. Somewhere. <laughs> yeah, I, that's it. And it's not that's a it. lot. I feel like I already own a lot of things that I need, you know? Right. So, oh, mm. perfect. That's like the perfect size vase. Yes. Wait, did it come with a flower food? No. No, that's kind of weird. Okay. They're dead. <laughs> don't they norm? I know, but don't they normally come with like a little packet of what's it? It's not yeah. flower food, something to keep them fresher longer. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah, it's like a flower feeder or something. So, well, I guess that's what you get when you buy $5.99 yeah. roses from Trader okay. Joe's. So, we love them anyway. People are saying that your kitchen looks similar to your kitchen back at Jade. It does, yeah. huh? Uh-huh. Okay. Right here. Yay. And you will notice, by the way, that I got the white roses to match her white walls. Mm -hmm. I knew you wouldn't want, like, red or some, like, bright I mean, color. It's okay. Like, well, I'm, I love flowers. Here's the thing. When I was growing up, I wasn't really huge into flowers and everything, and I, as I've gotten older now I appreciate flowers a lot more because I feel like I never get flowers mm -hmm. that sounds so sad uh, today you did yeah today did. today you got flowers guys make sure you smash the like button <laughs> like I did okay okay they want you to show Kenny wants you to show the fridge the fridge okay that um, could be scary <laughs> no my fridge is pretty okay actually oh you can see me in the wind. <laughs> right there. Okay. Oh, yeah. Someone keeps saying about a uh, backsplash. Maybe. It's okay. I've spent a lot of money right now. <laughs> so, yeah. This is the fridge right now. We'll go through fridge first, then freezer. Um, yeah. I got some Trader Joe's shoes. Uh, oh, thank you. Do you hear Joe now? Let me see. For the five, keep it up. Thank you. I had to burp. Okay. Do so I did. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Um, do you have let's see. three cans of green olives? Yeah. Dang. It was for my birthday last year, remember? What? Yeah. So, okay, let me show you guys. <laughs> Where are they? Right here. Do I remember this? So, okay. Last year, a whole, like, it was me... Lydia, Giselle, and a whole bunch of other people. We got invited to a place called Olives, oh, which is yeah. a Mediterranean okay, yes. restaurant. I know what you're and about I now. kept saying, and it, we had like this big mm -hmm. ass group chat that we got invited that we where we were invited, mm -hmm. and I kept saying, okay, you can't expect me to go to a place called Olives and not give me olives, and we did not have olives. We didn't have a single olive. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. So, on my and I guess that was like in April or something like that mm -hmm. that we went. Now, um, what was it? Then on my birthday, everybody brought me olives because they knew how much I, I and I, I kind of did make a big deal. Like jokingly, I made a big deal about like, yeah. how, we, how dare you guys didn't feed me olives and you guys know I love olives. Yep. So yeah. So now you have olives for I know. days. I oh, think you, Hank. <laughs> Hank says, did you know Palm St. Greta did a Jade tour video? I did actually. And what's funny is that so that video was done way before I moved into Jade. Mm -hmm. So I remember watching it, but I, I didn't really remember that part. You know, you watch it and it doesn't really stick, Right. I guess. So, you watch yeah. it and you're like, okay, that's cool. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then I don't really remember much about it. Okay, so, yes, my fridge. Let's see. Yes, so <laughs> lots of olives. I have emergencies stashes of 
caffeine just in case because you that never know. Surprising to me. You never know. All of a sudden, hey, let's let's go to the club and let's uh let's stay out till sunset, sunrise. I mean, is that what we're we never know? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> <laughs> um, I do have some eggs, healthy bread, all healthy. Ooh, coconut water sounds good right now. Annie wants to know uh, what was your first meal that you made in your new kitchen. I know my first meal I ate was a Subway sandwich because <laughs> I was so hungry. Yeah. Um, and there's that. Lots of veggies, guys. Lots of veggies. And then in my freezer. Oh, the, <laughs> these are Lydia's. Those are she mine. just put them in here for now. Uh, I do have shrimp, fish, snow crab. <gasps> guys, oh, we should probably get this out now so it's not freezing Yay. cold. Yay. We're going to do, we're going to pop champagne, y'all. Yay. See, I have more kombucha, wine. Um, as for my pantry, this is a <laughs> these are the stuff that Lydia said was too healthy. Oh, thank you, Ryan. Welcome to the house live. Goodbye to the apartment live. Congratulations. Thank you, Ryan. Thanks for being a jelly bean. Yeah, this is all yeah. very I do not healthy. have any jelly beans in here, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> healthy stuff and batteries. Yes, lots of batteries. <laughs> this is all the man stuff up there. You have tons of batteries. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. This is all really healthy. I'm very proud of myself that I was able to keep it healthy. I do have <laughs> just these. Oh, nice. These were from uh, when me and Andrew went to the Super Bowl Oh, thingy. that's hilarious. And then huh. tons and tons of element. Tons of element down there. Shoot. Are those full boxes or empty boxes? No, they're full. Oh, they're really? all full. That is awesome. I know. Um, Goodness. Let's see. So we'll put it over here. This is my living room. He's nice. With the comfiest couch of all time. It is really comfy, actually. I know. I, it's huge. Too. I mainly sit, like, yeah, kind of where Lydia is. Kind of mainly on this side, so I'm, I know I'm going to have to, like, move around the cushions. What do you, like, keep them switched out yeah. so one doesn't get deflated or something? Mm -hmm. Okay, exactly. that makes sense. I know. So, but yeah, this is it. Oh, Element is my... Sponsorship of an electrolyte drink mix that tastes like a margarita, and I've I've given it to some of my friends, and they all really like it. So yeah. That was in your in your moving video. That mm -hmm. was your sponsorship. Yes, it was, and I was like, perfect. So if you guys ever watch any of my videos and there's a sponsorship on it, please watch the sponsorship. Click on the link. You don't have to buy anything. Just literally click on the link. It'll help my engagement mm -hmm. or something like that. So that way they wanna they they keep on booking me. You know. So Let's you see. can keep paying your mortgage. Yes, please. I know. If you guys saw, I pay. We'll, we'll round it up to twenty six hundred a month mm -hmm. now. At least you got a pretty good interest rate, though. That's you true. Said you had like five. What I can't say what it is because people have to go and watch the video. That's true. Yes. Go watch the day in the life of a Norma Jelly. Mm -hmm. There is a guest star. Spoiler alert. Mm -hmm. Many guest stars. Um, one in particular. <laughs> <laughs> and then, oh, thank you, Mr. Jamal. Hola, Norma, and Lydia, and Pat. The wife wants to know, where did you get your couch? Um, I got it at Living Spaces. Living Spaces. Living Spaces. Um, I forgot what it was called, though. But yeah, it was just Living Spaces. It was really pretty. That place is overwhelming. Mm -hmm. It really is overwhelming. That's where Andrew and I got our couch, too. And I remember we could have been in there for like five hours. They have a lot yeah, of furniture. It really is. Uh, it cost 2000 2500 One mm -hmm. of those. I've, you know what's uh, funny is some of our friends, Julie and Tommy, were just posting that they were looking for a new couch, and they yeah. almost bought this exact couch. Uh, I told her to message you, but they decided to go with another one instead, so I don't know if she messaged you. Gotcha. Oh, thank you, Allison. Congratulations on the new house normal. Oh, thank you, Allison. Yes. Um, thank you. I've spent... Lots of money. I don't even know what number is what anymore. <laughs> That's why I'm like, it's about this because I don't really know anymore. Um, but yes. It will all start calming down soon, though. It will. Okay. Here, let me do this. Down. Oh, and then let's see. Brad said, love being able to watch all your videos and streams. Norma, all enjoyable. Thank you, Brad. I appreciate it. Let's see. And Brad, a 20. Yay. Um... What else? Can we see Richard's room? Ooh. Says Bill. <laughs> I don't want to ruin it because, all right. Um, but yes, this is Richard's room right here. Um, it's a lot of hay in there. 
right now. So, and I think he has a lady visitor over, so I don't want to disturb them. <laughs> that so many weird. people actually think you have a rooster now. I know. And so, you actually do. I, I, I actually do, guys. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, okay, the William participant says, congrats, I'll be there in three weeks. Hope to bump into you. Thank you, William participant. Yes, I mean, I'm always on the strip. I feel like mm -hmm. I never leave Vegas. So, yeah. Um, oh, okay. Somebody <laughs> said this in one of the comments of Life of a Norma Jelly today. So, basically, they said you should do a video and call it something like, a day in the life of Richard the Rooster. A day in the life of Richard the Rooster. Which I think would be actually kind of hilarious because... Um, I mean, I have my ideas. I don't want to spoil it because I, I, I have a really good idea. But I would literally, like, show off how I treat Richard and what I feed him. And I don't know. I think it'd be kind of funny. I have no idea how you're going to do that. So I'm yeah. actually really interested to watch that video. So, it does it end with me punting Richard out I of know. your back door. Lot, never of, to be seen again. Lots of rooster box in the whole <laughs> video. Um, and that, that would obviously go on my Life of a Norma Jelly. Yeah channel and okay so not only did i create life of norma jelly channel for you know to show my daily stuff in a sense but i also want to do creative stuff on there mm -hmm. stuff that I, I maybe i'm too scared to show off on my main channel like to um, practice new ideas yeah. or like new edits or something like that mm -hmm. okay Jump yeah down. that's a good idea so why not right mm -hmm. okay um should we pop champagne y'all yes can we pop some champagne yes Okay. Um, ha <laughs> have I talked to Ste Graham Stefan? Yes. He actually, I, I talked to him like last summer about buying a house and mm -hmm. he told me to wait. Oh. I know. I actually remember talking to him on your birthday because mm. that was right before Andrew and I bought our house too. Yeah. And he told us to wait too. And then we just bought the house anyways. Yeah. I mean, I basically <laughs> waited. I mean, you did a long wait. time. And you actually locked down a better interest rate than Andrew and I did. So. Yeah. He knows what he's talking about. Yeah, so definitely refinancing. And you know what's funny? After I bought this house, I started noticing, because I kept on searching on Zillow and all that, I felt like houses weren't, there wasn't as many houses or as houses that, that I would have liked. Mm -hmm. So I think I bought it right at the perfect time. Oh, sorry. $2. To, I, dude, guys, oh, did you miss something? Probably. Oh, thank you. Uh, you found Mr. Norma yet? If not, I'll be there. <laughs> Thank you, Hank. Um, if I ever need, I don't want to say I would put an application. No, that's weird. <laughs> you have to like fill out a questionnaire. I know. There's a there's a lot do of. Do you uh, like roosters? Do you like roosters? Do you like kids? Do you, yeah. Do you like Lydia's? Yes, that's the most important mm -hmm. one. Forget about the kids. You have to like a Lydia. You have to like Lydia. Oh, thank you, Lydia. Kevin. Con <laughs> congrats. Oh, look how he spelled it. Kung. Congrats. Oh, this is Kevin Kong. That's actually On the cute. new backwards house. Norma. Yeah, time to pay that mortgage off. Okay, so um, I talked about it. No, actually, I didn't even talk about it because this is like my first time talking about houses. So I talked about it with my lender. That's what mm -hmm. I talked about it with. If I basically pay double my mortgage every single month, and obviously it goes towards the principal, right. I will have it paid off in eight years. Mm. That is crazy. Wait, did you get a 15-year mortgage? No, I got 30. Oh. But the thing is that, like, I don't know if I can afford a double for my real. mortgage. That's a lot. That's, like, $5,000. Yeah, Andrew and I can't afford double our mortgage. I will be eating Top Ramen every, <laughs> every night <laughs> for me to so do So much that. for all the healthy lifestyle. I know, right? You won't it's be able hot. to buy olives or anything Hold like that. Quick. Yep. Careful with the windows. Okay, I'm turning on the uh, fan. There she goes. Where is Jaycation? He's back in the America now, is but it? yeah, he's back in the United States, but okay. he's not in Vegas. I'm not too sure about that. Oh okay. man. So this I'm is, scared. Should, should, should turn on lights? Yeah, maybe oh, turn on one light. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Here, let me actually put this down so it's not like wobbling. Is that good? Yes. Do you want it to be okay. closer? No, I think it's good here. Come on this. Okay. Wait, let me get the glasses. Yes. I know where Ooh. your alcohol cabinet is. <laughs> Wait. We make sure you get the good ones. Okay. The good glasses. There's good ones and bad ones? Well, I don't know. It looks like you only have these. Use the, yeah, so and just be careful getting ones. them out because there's so much glass in this area. Okay. I Sorry. like these are like iridescent. Oh, uh, Brenda gave me those. Oh, those are cool. When I turn 100,000 subscribers. 
You don't want to use our flamingo ones? No. <laughs> from 24 hours at the Let's flamingo? See. Sorry. Oh, thank you, Mike. I just saw it. Hope you have many years of happiness in your new house. It's beautiful. Hope you consider getting a cat. Richard needs company. Take care. Thanks, Brenda. These are really pretty. <laughs> Okay. Sorry. Thank you, Mike. Oh my God. Imagine a cat and a rooster. That would be quite the combination. <laughs> Thank you, Daniel. Santana says, congratulations, Norma. I'm very happy for you. May you enjoy many years of happiness. Congratulations, Norma. I'm very happy for you. Thank you. Yay. I know. It's, um, let's hope I can pay it off in many less years. Yeah. <laughs> yep. And then, oh, Kim one says, hi, Norma, for your, uh, for your videos, what editing company do you use and how much does it cost? Also, do you have a promotional code slash sponsorship with them? I'm trying to create stellar videos on my channel like yours. Thank you, Kim Warren. Um, so, I mean, I use, what's it called? Adobe Premiere, mm -hmm. and that costs $21 a month. Your editing um, software? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I mean, it's between me and my editor that we do it together. Uh, like the editing portion. I mean, obviously he does a lot. And what's funny is that this Life of a Norma Jelly that came out this morning, I edit that the whole thing because oh, really? actually my editor is here in town on vacation. Um, I just haven't been able to see him because my life is upside down right now, <laughs> literally. And um, I was like, this is why I got an editor. Yeah, for it's, real. It's a lot. That was a long video too. Yeah, okay, here's the thing though. Unless you are wanting to get an editor to work with, I do not recommend Adobe Premiere. It is really hard. And actually, we have a few friends that use the software that I used to use called uh, Filmora, Wondershare F Filmora. That is so easy. Obviously, like there are certain things that Adobe is better in, but it is way cheaper. I think it's like $70 mm. to buy the whole system. Not a month, just $70. Like one time um, payment. Our friend, um, Sant, Samantha March uses mm. it. Shin uses that. Oh. Vegas or Shin, he uses it. So I wonder yeah. I don't know what Andrew uses. So do you use Adobe Premiere because you and your editor can work on it together? Mm -hmm. That makes yeah. sense. Uh, if anything, if you do want to get something a little bit better, I would probably even look into a, a Final Cut Pro because it does have more features. It's like in between both of them, but it's not as hard. I cannot remember what Andrew uses. Yeah. Oh, thank you, Kiara Verdi. I hope I'm saying it right, Kiara. Thank you for the 999. Yeah. And then Kiara. I saw, yeah, you too, you to be, dude. <laughs> um, hi, Norma. Will you film a 24 hour house challenge? I mean, that would be every day. In yeah. the club. <laughs> we just I like know. have lights on in the kitchen. <laughs> How would that start? It would be like lunch here, check out the room downstairs. Um, we would have to like actually the, bring activities yeah, in here. Yeah, that'd be funny. Drinks in the pat no, the, the, bal the balcony. Uh, activity in the living room. <laughs> go to sleep downstairs and then breakfast up here. There you go, 24 hours. Uh, that um, might be the longest 24 hours that we've done. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> and then, oh, thank you, Turquoise Guy. Hi, Noma. Congrats on the new house. What's your favorite resort in Vegas? Mm. I still say Cosmo. Cos I mean, it's like Cosmo... Bellagio, Caesars, they're all great. Well, and also, is it like on strip or off strip? Mm. You know what I mean? Definitely, yeah. But definitely I do that love one. The Cosmopolitan. Oh, and then thank you, Jerry, 13 for the 10. Let's see. Uh, it says, let's celebrate their 10th super on a live stream. Nice. 10 for 10. <laughs> okay. 10 out of 10 vibes. Wait, uh, hold on. Ah, sorry, this is, I'm missing a whole bunch. Are uh, you? Oh, and then, yeah, thank you to Dolphy Lundgren. For the for the dollar a let's celebrate the first super on a live stream thank you dude that dollar literally helps and yeah yep i have lots of doll hairs i need to spend now <laughs> and then brandon says congrats on this new level of adulting i i feel like okay because there's people who buy a house at 18 and then there's people that like buy it at my age or something and so I'm like, I don't know if I'm late to the game. I don't or think so. I don't know. Especially not here in Vegas now. It might have been easy to buy mm -hmm. a house like 10 years ago here, but it's gotten very difficult to buy a house in Vegas lately. But yeah, thank you again, Brendan. And then we got LV Fan says, congrats, Norma. Great to see all your hard work has paid off with this beautiful home. Thank Yay. you. Okay, I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna grab your phone so it'll be Do easier it. for me to read. Yep. 
But let's put That's this why I have a little up. bit further back so we can open up the champagne. Iridescent glasses. These are really cool. Yeah. Have we drank from these before? Yeah, we actually drank on them um, on when I did a uh, hundred thousand. Ah, subscribers. Thank I you. have a terrible memory. Took it okay. out. I only remember it because it's on video. <laughs> <laughs> and I edited that shit. I'm like, I do not remember seeing these before. Okay. So what's the story behind this particular champagne? Um, nothing particular. It was less it was than sale. It was less than fifteen dollars. I love it. I actually I really love it. it's called Borrasca. Borrasca. How, how do you pronounce it? Borrasca. 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 Yeah. I'd say Borrasca. Yeah. So it's really good. I've never had complaints with them. They even have a pink one. Kenny says that you should shake it. No. <laughs> You're gonna come over and clean it? <laughs> yeah. We're all gonna need to pitch in on a house cleaner and here. Can you move the glasses? Cause I don't want it to like. Yeah. Oh, and then here. I'm scared. I know it's okay. I've done this. You have done this a few times. Yeah. Yes. And it's funny. Like every single time we open champagne or get champagne, I always demand to be the one to open it. Because you don't like the loud, sudden noises, Yeah, so that right? way I can control the mm -hmm. pop. And let's do it. I am okay with that because I don't want to do it. It's kind of like, have you ever gotten the biscuits, like the Pillsbury biscuits in the can, oh, and you I peel it that. off and there, it pops? I hate doing it. Me too. I make Andrew do it. Really? Um, yep. I mean, that I do try to open myself so that way I can get used to pops. But ugh, what the hell, dude? You need some fresh fruit garnish. Says the willing Do participant. I have any fresh fruit? <laughs> well, you have bananas and apples in your fruit bowl, which I don't mm, think is no. a good champagne garnish. Pomegranate seeds. Oh, we could do that. Pomegranate seeds? Yeah. In champagne? Mm hmm. Yeah, like, you know, when they do mimosas and they do pomegranate flavored? Okay, so they're just like floating in there? Yeah. Okay. Oh, come on. Today. I think that might be the only fruit you have. You mostly have vegetables. <laughs> I really do. Yeah, you have a lot of... And oh, you have dates, dates, but I don't think that no, Dates is not going to be good. Is this, are right. any of these olives open? No. I don't well, think so. let's open one yeah. so we eat it. Oh, my God. This is taking a long time. I know. This is just... Yum. Oh, my God. <clears throat> I know. This is hard today. Well, I would... Offer to help, but I'm scared. I know. It's so cool. there you go. If you want to see, well, that was easy to open. Yeah, there you go. Here we go. We can start with the olives while Norma tries to open our champagne. <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> uh, Amber says, "Congratulations on the house. We'll be visiting in April." Thank you, Amber. April's a great time to visit Vegas. It is. Mm -hmm. Well, it is and it isn't just because stupid winds. You know what? <gasps> We're having another wind. So there's a wind advisory tomorrow afternoon. But it's short. It's just from tomorrow afternoon until early, early Friday morning. <laughs> but then we're supposed to have rain on Saturday. So if you guys are coming this weekend, we're going to have rain again. I'm like, where are we? I know. Where are we? Spring isn't the funnest time here. Oh, my nachos. Yeah, this is taking a long time. Sorry. What are you trying to do exactly? I'm trying to twist it off. Aren't you supposed to pop it off? Not always. I, I mean, I've always twisted it off. Okay. Well, <laughs> Is it moving at all? Like mm. a quarter of an inch, half an inch. Mm. Yeah. Brian, yeah, Brian says, I'm coming this week, not looking forward to the weather. Yeah, I know. Like, and we have a thing to film on Friday, so we're just hoping the, wa the, well, the water, <laughs> the weather cooperates with us. Yeah. And yeah. Because when we filmed Fountain Blue, we were supposed to go to the pool. I think you mentioned that in the yeah. video. We were supposed to go to the pool. And that was the day that it was so, so windy. We had the highest winds in March since 1985. Really? Yeah, Andrew Damn. saw that. Um, so we did not go to the pool, but instead we got to watch planes from the room with Shane, <laughs> which you will have seen if you uh, follow Norma's second channel. Oh, what's up, Doom? Hey, Norma, nice house. Thank you. I appreciate it. Um, um, speaking of your second channel, mm -hmm. do you want me to help now? Yes. Maybe I should help okay. now. So just hold on to it like that. I am going to go on the other side really quick. Hold on. Okay. All right. And uh... Woo! Yes. Yay! Okay. Well, you had just loosened it up for me. Yeah. I did the she easy part. She has the uh, bigger hands. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> Wait, let's see. Let's see. No, I definitely yeah. know. Okay. <laughs> You know what that means. You know what they say about big hands. Uh, bigger gloves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, move, move the olive. 
Okay. Yes. I think you got another super chat. Yeah, this way. Okay. Wait, did you? Yes. Oh, thank you. Did you okay, we you got, got Doom. Doom. Okay. Augie says, I like to contribute for a champagne opener. <laughs> Wait, uh, they have there? champagne oh, openers? Is there? I know they have wine openers. Are there champagne openers? I don't know. I because. Huh. I don't think so, because then I feel like it would, like, mess up the... The, the pop? Like, the whatever the, the contraption is, it's going to just... Because <laughs> I have so much pressure. Well, if there is, I will add it to Norma's Amazon wish list. <laughs> Let's see. If you guys ever do want to get anything from the wish list, feel free. You don't have to. Um, and I did try to get inexpensive stuff. Like, I wasn't trying to get, like, the most expensive, you know, for you guys to choose. It, and again, you don't have to. You didn't put a $10,000 bed for me to sleep in when <laughs> right. I stay over? Dang it. I know. You uh, have another super chat here, see. by the way. And then Rick says, there you go. That's a good Okay, actually, I think that might be cute. Rick says, hi, from Rick in Michigan. Congratulations on your new home. Lydia, go Tigers, opening day tomorrow. Oh. Go Tigers? Is that a thing? Uh, baseball. Detroit Tigers. Oh, okay. Detroit Tigers. Ooh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what's funny? I bought this when I was still living at Jade. Oh, seriously? I bought it knowing that like one day I was gonna be able to do like a, a live stream for the home. Dang. So this was to like foreseen the future. Uh-huh. You were manifesting it. I was. I almost, when I stopped at Trader Joe's today to get your roses, I almost bought orange juice and then I was like, who am I kidding? <laughs> we don't need orange juice. <laughs> What am That's I thinking That's excessive here? sugar that we don't need. Come on. We're not going to use orange juice. What am I talking about? Here you go. Glenn says, congrats on your new house. Oh, yeah. Congrats on your new house. Love how you have grown on where you used to live. Congrats. Happy for you. Cheers. Thank you, Glenn. Um, so I, I definitely shared it in the video. Uh, but, yeah, basically, I, yeah, I, I lived in that green room, which was my friend's house mm -hmm. um and then moved over to sandy's house mm -hmm. which I, I if you guys don't know sandy was actually my roommate mm -hmm. so she was my friend first when she first started coming out in the videos and eventually she asked me to be her roommate so i was her room for about a year and then got she my was technically place. your landlord right because wasn't that her place yeah that way. okay yeah. yes and then i mean and then the apartment i'm here yeah okay cheerios all right so cheers to you cheers to you guys Cheers. Cheers. Thank you for watching. Um, please, as always, like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends. Um, yeah. When we Thank filmed Norma's house tour, remember you were struggling with that? You were like, like, comment. What? What it is was, my outro? I don't know. I don't, I don't know where I just like forgot what my outro was. But yeah, no, seriously, guys. Thank you for watching. And like I said, watching any and all content that I do. Um, yeah. Because now we can, this is, this is the house. Honestly, the most helpful thing is just watching, liking, commenting. Like people will message me and be like, how can I support the content? I'm like, just like and comment on it. Honestly, that yeah. helps a lot. It really and it's does. free. Mm -hmm. It's free. Woo! I have my, one of my cousins, he had like a dog and the dog had to have TV on. So he said he would just put it on my channel and That's like so let cute. it run for the day for his dog. That's actually really cute. Let's see. Oh. Um, then we got, oh, thank you, Brian. Hi, Norma and Lydia. Congrats on the house, Norma. Nice to see you live on a different platform other than TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Proud La Diva. <laughs> Hi, Brian. Yes. I don't we know. are the La Divas and the Norma Knights. Yes. There you go. Yep. Thank you, Brian. And then CJ says, love to see another live. Uh, Norma slash Lydia all night. That's right. All night long. How late am I going to be here? I have a tour tomorrow all morning. Night. You can drive from here. <laughs> that, that's true. That's true. Can I borrow some clothes? Yeah. Okay. No fit. Oh. Uh, congrats. Thank you, RDJ. RDG, sorry. Congrats, Norma. Watch out for solar panel sale people. No, 100%. Like, oh my God. Do you have a no soliciting sign up on your no, door? I don't. You actually. need to add that to the Amazon wish list. Mm. That was actually something that we put on our Amazon wish list when we moved into our house last year, and it has saved us. Really? Mm -hmm. I feel like people wouldn't would ignore that. I. This is what I will say. Before we put the no soliciting sign up, we would have people knock on our door like two or three times a week mm. at least, yeah. and that was just when we were home. 
And I was like, this is crazy. Like, leave me alone, honestly. Not to be rude, but leave me alone. Yeah. But we put the no soliciting sign up, and since then, I think maybe one or two people have knocked on our door. Yeah. So, at the same time. I do think it works. Like, well, I don't really need any of that. And then some of them, no. they'll be tricky. They'll come in and be like, hi, I'm here to check your, your water softener thing. And I'm like, I'll be like, I don't remember ordering like a water no. softener person. They're like, well, it's free and then you, so I could offer it. I was like, oh, okay. so yeah. I, I try to get it out of them that they're a salesman, you know? Yep. So. Heck no. Literally just like a week ago, we were cleaning the front area of our house. So we were outside and these two guys walked up and I was like, dang it. Cause we're already outside. And Andrew's so nice. So Andrew will just sit there and be like, okay, yeah, great. And I, I like have to be the bad person. I, I just, I, I'll be like, no speak English. <laughs> <laughs> See, I can't get away with that. You could say like you're German or something. I don't know. <laughs> no speak English, only Deutsch. <laughs> My name Olga. Deutsch. I, I sit on yes. your you know, go away. Croissant. <laughs> Croissant. That's French. <laughs> well, you know. Uh, thank you, Glenn. Says, oh, hi, by the way, Lydia. Love watching both of you. Oh, yay. Hi, Glenn. Thank you, Glenn. And then John R. Stone says, uh, congrats on the home, Norma. Hope you create lots of great memories there. And hi to Lydia as well. Thank you. I hope hi, so. Hi, John. No, seriously, like, I'm not going to lie, guys. The way I edited Life of a Norma Jelly video for today, I had to take out a lot because at one point I started getting very emotional of like, this isn't my house yet. I miss Jade. And I was like, I sound very negative. Let's not. <laughs> you know what though? I told you when Andrew and I moved into our house, it took like one to two months, maybe even two to three months for our house to feel like mm -hmm. home. Like it's definitely an adjustment, especially since you're still figuring out where your stuff is going and you're still like yeah. filling in the gaps. It's not going to feel like home for a little bit still. Mm -hmm. Give yeah. it time. Give it time. There's no rush. Yeah. I feel like at Jade, I had people over sometimes, but not really, mm -hmm. you know? And I feel like now here, because it's bigger and whatever, I, and it's so much easier, like, just to have people over in general. And if they yeah. want to sleep over, whatever. So I, I want to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I want to be able over. to, like, invite people over more. I want to host more. I know. I That's what said, we're doing. Well, okay, you're right, you're right. And Tony says, congrats on a new house, Norma. You deserve it. Hi, Lydia. Thank you, Tony. Hey, Tony. Thank you, Tony. And then again, guys, cheers to you guys. Wasn't This wouldn't be possible without y'all. Yay. Mm. Should we move to a different? Yeah, let's okay. move to a different area. Let's Where do you want to go? go? Somewhere else. Here, let me um, grab my phone. Well, first things first. Hold on. Ah. Alan says that you need a kitten, and I agree. I have Richard. <laughs> Oh, there's, and Tara Travels says, I want to say congrats to you, Norma, on the house. Thank you, Tara. Okay, first of all. Oh, are we doing a fit check? Yeah, this is the, um, the nalga check. <laughs> Wait, turn off the light because it's, like, glaring. I just, Which okay, it's it? just this. It's, oh, is I it just to, dirty? Probably. Meh. Okay. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Cliff. Congrats on a new house. Did you get a new car in the last video? In the last uh, video, it has to do good taillights. What? What's you did the, get a new taillight. I did get a new taillight, yes. And I had it ordered from that LKQ place. LKQ? K -K KLQ. You guys know what I'm talking about. I've and I order it from there. It's a place that sells used car parts from oh. like, um, yeah, just used car parts. And instead of paying $700 from Hyundai dealership, bought it from there, took it to my friend's house, and he installed it for me. $700, so, $700 for a taillight? The whole taillight system. Absolutely not. Ooh, that seems really high. Yeah. So, but yeah. Thank you, Cliff. Um, Cheers, Cliff. Oh, what's Lydia going to do if they... <laughs> Cry. Yeah. Move into Norma's. Seriously. I don't know. But yeah, this is outfit of the day. We're both wearing black drawstring pants. I don't know mm -hmm. if you can see it. Yes. Can they see the drawstrings? <laughs> We're both wearing <laughs> black drawstring pants and that I know. was not planned. Richard is like, I am not coming out of my room because Lydia's here. Right. Richard <laughs> and I are beefing. I know. Lydia will, cow, cow, cow. will start a fight with him. Yep. <laughs> and he will lose. Oh, thank you, Charles. Charles just subscribed. Thanks, Charles, Yay. for subscribing. 
Okay, Lydia with a Y. Yes, okay. Lydia with a Y. Guys. Let's go into my, Over oh, here. can you bring it? Yes. Yep. Yay. Let's turn on the light because I need light in here. Are we sitting on the floor? Sure. Oh, huh. I mean, you do I need to really turn this on. Carpet, so we may as well. Is this, did it turn on or not? There you go. Okay. Turn this around. Oh, yeah. Really quick. My office. Oh, yeah. Here's Norma's office. Yes. So then, what happened with the door here, by the way? What? Why is one door lower than the other? It's just, I don't know. Did Andrew do that? Mm, or did probably. you do that? I probably did that. <laughs> yeah. It's just. Do you see that? Yeah. One of them is like a little lower than the other. What can I do? I don't it's know. It's just, oh. Oh, so don't do that. I don't know. It's okay. It's You it's could functional. put like a piece of paper underneath it or something. Maybe. It's functional. It doesn't really matter. Do I have a favorite room yet? Definitely my living room. I love my living room. It's yeah, really I fun. love your living room too. Okay. Okay. But yeah, this is my office now. Um... I would like to say that I spend a lot of time here, <laughs> but I, oh, ah. okay. what just happened? I don't know. My gimbal. Did your gimbal just lose battery? No, it just probably, sorry. Sorry, guys. Are you good? Yeah, it's fine. I just. Please hold me. technical difficulties. It's going to twist. While we wait. Oop, there oh. you go. It twisted. Da -da -da. Commercial break. <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. Is it fun playing house? Um, I mean, I don't know. It's not like I have a husband and kids. It's not. Well, well also you're paying. Oh, ah. my gosh. Okay, one more time. Okay, hold on. Commercial break. Dun, 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 dun. Why are you being weird? Check out the Cosmopolitan. <laughs> Our resort fee is $50 a night, but we are bougie. And check out the Life of the Norma Jelly YouTube channel. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Back house, to the regularly <laughs> scheduled program. My house is haunted. If anything, if it does it again, I have tripods here. I don't think your house, house is haunted. Mm -mm. I don't think your house has been around. Nothing long has to happened. Haunted, yeah. <laughs> mm. I did actually. So when Andrew and I moved into our house, mm -hmm. we low key thought it was haunted for a second because we have a cabinet in our hallway, and two nights in a row, books fell off one of the shelves in the cabinet and oh it was God. like the books were in the shelf like it wasn't like they were on the edge or anything mm -hmm. so we were like how the heck did they fall no Dang. idea but whatever they're friendly ghosts at least we've we've been getting along with them sometimes uneven doors happen when you self-install i mean i had to self-install because this came from amazon <laughs> Sometimes uneven doors happen when you do a shitty. <laughs> shitty <laughs> Sometimes when you suck at your life, yeah, it's gonna be, it's gonna look like terribleness. <laughs> I can't talk because I have never assembled furniture in my life. Yeah, it's okay. I don't it's have the fine. patience. It's we'll figure it out. No, I mean it looks good though. Yeah, it's just like it's literally a quarter of an inch. It's not a big deal. No, yeah, I know. Um, oh, what's up, David? NYC. I need to go. I need to go like ASAP. I want to go somewhere. So to NYC. Oh. I want to go like in before June. Like May, April or May. When are the April blossoms? Or the oh. cherry blossoms? I know that's Washington, like D.C., right but now. isn't that in March? Don't you think it's still cold there? Mm, I don't know. What do you, what do you, what do you think, David? I feel like April or May would be like a great time to go to New York City. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> I want to go... New York City. I want to go to Nashville. I want to go to Nashville Take really me. bad. No, if we go, if I go, I'm going with you. Yeah. Andrew doesn't want to go to Nashville because I want to like get the cowgirl outfit and like go dance and like do the whole we Nashville do. thing. Andrew doesn't care about that. Chicago. I want to go to Chicago. Yeah, dude. So I'm not great at dancing country, but I'm just. I'm okay at dancing, so I would definitely would want to like line dance. Yes, a hundred percent. If a cowboy was like, "Hey, but little lady, come dance with me." Her, hey, hey, little lady. I'm sorry, that's that's probably Texas, and I'm just. <laughs> well, I don't know. Maybe in Nashville too. You want some of this moonshine? Mm -hmm. Is that what they say? I think you came in as video production for a dollar. Yay! Okay. Thank you. Yeah, oh, Chicago. I know we were talking about the St. Patrick's Day. Dying of the River. Dying the River Green. I cool. really want to do that. So our friend Anna Las Vegas Riggs on Instagram, she posted a video about it. Mm -hmm. I think I sent it to you. Mm -hmm. And it looked so cool. I want to go. I oh, think you, Jordan. 
How much is a summer electric bill? <laughs> I do not want to find out. I'm going to guess it was like $300 yeah. minimum. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Our most expensive heating bill of the winter was almost 200 or I think really? it was over $200 for our little house. I was like, Horrible. are you freaking kidding me? I'm terrified <laughs> now to see what our air conditioning bill is going to be. Oh, because you haven't, you haven't spent well, summer, or have you? Because we moved in, we moved in in September. Mm. So, and the hottest months are June, July, August. Yeah. So I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. <laughs> me too. I'm not excited. But yeah, I'm I am going to guess it's going to be like $300. So let's get uh, sponsorships, please, and uh, more views. <gasps> leave your TVs on for your dogs. Leave, <laughs> leave the TV on at all times. This I is know. why you sleep with your TV on. Yeah, just watching your videos I should. over and over. <laughs> but would I even get a view if I'm watching I it from so. my account? I don't think so. Lame. Okay. Oh, I have been to San Antonio, which is the first place I ever tried Whataburger. Oh, mm -hmm. interesting. Yeah, so this was, oh my God, this is so long ago. This is 2015. So 2015 was like my was year of, yeah, it was my year of traveling all over the place. Um, but I, and this was so weird. Like now I probably wouldn't do this, but I remember I had gone to Miami. I went to Miami because I had just gone through a breakup or something. And do I you was know like, that I've never been to Miami? No. Oh no, I have. Never mind. I have, but I was only there briefly oh. when we went to a cruise. Anyways, continue. Yeah. So we went through a breakup. I went through a breakup and I was like, Boo. I need to like just get away. And my friend told me that he knew a friend in Miami and that she was willing to hang out with me. Mm. Like that's awesome, you know? Okay. So I hung out with her, whatever. And then on the flight back. I sat next to this girl, and she was really cool and everything. We added each other on Instagram, and she saw how I, like, traveled everywhere. So, after Miami, I think I went to New York for a whole month. I went to New Orleans. Damn. And then, um, she was like, we should travel somewhere. And I'm like, okay. This random girl that you this met at the plane? This random girl I met, met at the plane. She was right next to me. And we saw each other's stories, whatever. Right. And we were supposed to meet up in San Antonio, and we did, but so for whatever reason, her plane got either delayed or canceled. So I was in San Antonio for a whole day by myself, mm. and then I saw her the next day. I see. Yeah. Okay. So that's and cool. that day, and that she I didn't was, murder you. No, she did not. So I'm that's nice. And now, and that day that I was by myself, I went to go try Whataburger. The yeah. last time <laughs> I went to San Antonio was actually last March because I was there Ooh. for work, and I did one of those river boat tours Aww. down the river. Did we, we did do that, yeah. It was so funny because it was all families, like with mm. kids. I was the only, I'm telling you, the only solo person, and I felt so weird because it was all these big families, but I was like, I'm doing the boat. I don't <laughs> care if I'm by myself. I don't care because none of my coworkers wanted to go with me. Yeah. I so I was that. like, whatever, I'll just go by myself, and it was fun. Oh, thank you, Edouard. Welcome to Jelly Beans. Welcome. Cheers. Which, by the way, we need more champagne. Welcome to the family. Hold on. Welcome to the family. Guys, don't forget that she has an Amazon wish list. Da, da, da. More champagne. Cheers, me. Cheers, you. Okay. And give me, what is, what's the, what's the, ugh. What is the movie, the story um, about the orphan child? And he's like, I want some more, sir. Oh, I don't know. What is that? Do you know what I'm talking about? I think so. Um, I mean, I've heard of it, but I don't know. Oliver Twist. Oh. Please, can I have some more? <laughs> That's like a movie. I think I've only seen Oliver Twist in the cartoon version, or I don't even know. Okay, well. Um, let's see. Did you remember the Alamo, <laughs> says Noel? Did you go see uh, the Alamo in yes. San Antonio? It's so small. Mm -hmm. It's so small. It's a building. A really small building. Yeah, Oliver <laughs> Twist, everybody says. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't know. I think, yeah, I think all I've seen is a cartoon. I didn't even know that where there was a, a cartoon. Where it's like Oliver Twist isn't, isn't a cat <laughs> or something. Oh, man. I, guess I, I saw a movie. Seen. I don't know. I saw a movie of Oliver Twist. Did, Did you find your bicycle? Did you find your bicycle? I don't think he's talking about this. Oh. <laughs> Let's see. Please, sir, can Norma do a British accent? This is about to Damn. sound really bad. <laughs> this is what I already know. Dang, I, I, the pressure. A British accent? Shit, I don't know. I'm, I have, like, so much pressure now. Tea um, and crumpets. Would you like some tea and crumpets? Would you like some champagne and some pomegranate seeds? That's actually so much uh, pretty I don't know. <laughs> All hail the queen. 
<laughs> Bow to the queen. No, sir. they say God save the queen. God, God save the queen. God save the queen. Cheers to that. Yes. <laughs> okay. I was watching the other day. Uh, oh, Dad Cation is in here. Oh, uh, what's up, Dad Cation? Hi, Dad. Hi. Oh, yeah, I was watching that movie, um, How to Be Single, and thought, do you have you seen that movie? Mm, I think I have, but it's been a long time. Dang. Okay, it's because that one. It's, she's Australian, but she has a British accent on there. Damn it. What did she say? I don't know. Mm. Do you know the, the movie I was actually thinking is a classic movie that I've never seen? I was literally just thinking about this the other day. Is the John Tucker Must Die movie. Do you know movie? what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. We need to watch that. We need like to watch that. I've been wanting to watch... Um, it sounds weird. Uh, Which one? Legally Blonde. Yeah, I love that movie. Yeah. I love that movie. 100% do down. 100% down. Mm, Norma could be a companion on Doctor Who. What does that mean? Is that a good thing? I don't know. A compa companion? Because is Doctor Who British? I don't companion? Know. <laughs> That's here in the state of Nevada, the word companion can mean no, some my sketchy God. things. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Uh... uh uh, let's see. We we sound the same now. Uh, Andrew. <laughs> I know. Oh my my dance. Yeah, I have I'm, I have a beautiful dance. I'm very good at dance. I do really like your office though. Mhm. Mm I like your. Oh wait, you should show off your standing desk. Oh, I guess so. This yeah. is something new that Norma has. Is this you bought it for this house, I, right? I sure did. Yeah, you did not have this at Jade. Let's turn it Check around. Check this out. This is fancy technology, folks. <laughs> Here, this on. is this is very handy dandy technology. And I still have the same stupid ass chair. Well, the, did you put one on your Amazon wish list? No, because I have. Then to sit you can't in it complain. I have to sit in it myself and see if I like it. Okay. So here we go. I want to see how far oops. Oh. Wait, here Ooh. Mama Stroso says, one ninety nine. love Norma on hump day. Hey, what does that mean? Does that mean something? Like hump day, it's Wednesday. Yeah, oh, okay. So this is probably how I would edit. I don't know, I, I've never Hold on, I need to now. change. All I'm showing is your butt here. Hold on. What? Your <laughs> gimbal is so weird. How do I go up? The other way? Oh, nope. I hate your gimbal. It's okay. I don't understand. There Help me. Now, how do I go back? There oh, there we go. Okay, I did it. I did it. I did it. But yeah. I don't know if I'm going to edit standing up. Maybe I would have better ideas like this standing up. There you go. You actually look so tall from this angle. What's the brand? What's the um, brand? What did you get? So, ER Gear is a brand. Um, this probably costs like 300 ish dollars. Oh, that's not bad. Um, because, <laughs> and I noticed. When I was doing the video, I said an uplift desk. An uplift, I think, is like the one of the more expensive brands, and maybe get one of the original brands, whatever. Uh, but yeah, an uplift. This would have cost like a thousand, twelve hundred dollars, something like that. And people were trying to tell, like, just get that one. And I'm like, that's a lot no. of money. Shoot. If, it, if all it's gonna do is raise up and down, right? That's fine. I don't need it to remember my settings. I can remember it myself or whatever. That's a thousand dollars is high. Yeah. I know you spend a lot of time at this desk, but dang. I there it goes. Like maybe $200 on my last desk. So no, it's fine. I like the sound it makes when it goes up and down. <laughs> I think I'm at 27.9. <laughs> so 0.9 specifically. I think it's a radio station. Let's see. Maybe 28. Nope. That's the field weird. There you go. <laughs> there. Wow. That point 0.1 made all yeah, the difference. It really did. Okay, how do I switch? Here? The YouTube is different than... Wait, then the hold on. There. Hold on. There it is. I now I Ugh. figured it out. Okay. And is there anything quirky about your new house as the willing participant? What is quirky? Quirky, exactly. like strange, weird, a little off. But not in a bad way. Quirky is like mm. a little off in a, in a funky way. Like me? Yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> quirky, um, short. I mean, Richard's room is kind of quirky. Um, it's just random. 
I'm trying it's, to, yeah, is anything quirky about your it's, house? It's literally just a closet, guys. Don't even, like, get excited. It's, like, someone kept saying, like, that's where her roommate lives. I'm like, I can see why people would think that's a room, but no. It's literally just a closet. Mm-mm. Um, what else? I don't think there's really anything quirky about... It has a small... Your house. Bathroom downstairs. Um, the whatever. first time I came into Norma's house... Um... Tell the story. I will tell the story. So, what's it, what was that, two, three weeks ago now? Yeah, I don't know. Time runs together. A couple weeks ago, Norma and I went to Wino. Mm -hmm. Wino in the Uncommons. It which, was in my Life of a Norma Jelly yeah, video. Yeah, it was in your Life of a Norma Jelly video. We she went to Wino, up. and I picked her up here at her house. And that was the first time I had seen her house because on your moving day, I was working, which is why Andrew helped instead of me. Anyway, so this was the first time I had seen your house. And I pulled up to pick Norma up, and I had to pee. I had to use the facilities. So I called Norma and I was like, hey, I have to go to the bathroom. And she was like, you can't because the next day was when we were going to film my reaction to her house. And she was like, you can't come in and pee because I need your authentic reaction for the filming tomorrow. And I was like, dude, I have to pee. So I'm either going to pee in your house or I'm going to pee in your garage. Pick. And Norma was like, okay, fine. So what did you do? So I took out my blindfold and I, <laughs> so, so she rude. came, she came into the garage. Yep. I blindfolded her. Yep. I opened up the door and she did not see a damn thing. I nope. had to lead her to my bathroom downstairs. I did not cheat. I literally, I did not try to move the blindfold or anything. I was like, okay, and lead me to the bathroom. She went through, I took her into the bathroom I let her go, close the door. She yep. went to the bathroom. Did you? You did allow me to see the bathroom, yes. though. I did I did see the bathroom. So I took the blindfold off once I got in the bathroom. I just want to clarify just that. Just because you see the bathroom. And I washed my hands. Yes. Just because you see I the bathroom, that doesn't mean that you see the house. Right. So I took, yeah, she did it. She put her blindfold back on. Yep. I walked her out, yep. took her out the garage. Yep. And, and then we drove to Wino. Yeah. That was <laughs> hilarious. And Wino was a fun time. Yeah, I, I like Wino, actually. I would go back. 100%. I want to go back, like, right now, actually. Yeah. The charcuterie was delicious. Wait, so now that you saw the house, yeah. what did you think walking through? I was just so disoriented. <laughs> I had no idea. I didn't know where. I actually, it made me laugh when I came in the next day because I was like, oh, your bathroom is actually not too far from the garage. Yeah. But it felt like so far when you were leading me to it. <laughs> and I was like, okay, this is actually not as big as I thought, like as big of a walkway as I thought it was. Well, like you should in tinkle in the trash can. <laughs> I was going to, okay? I was if, like, Norma, if I, if let I me in. If I didn't let her take off the blindfold, she would have. Mm-hmm. I know. Um, how did you use the phrase, oh, my nachos? Ooh, that's a good one. How did your use of the phrase, oh, my nachos, come to be? Says Darren. Damn. You've used that know. pretty much as long as I've known you, I want to yeah. say. Also, you have a super chat from Slot Ninja. Ooh. Hey, a slot. pink, a pink super chat. Favorite color, Vest Vegas stream. I'm on board uh, a flight to Vegas. Nice. What's your favorite restaurant at Circa? Mm. Well, I mean, Barry's is amazing, but you just got to be ready to spend money. Uh huh. Um, they have a baked Alaska there. I still want to uh, try. We did. Yeah, we so didn't try. when we did 24 hours at Circa, we were so full. Mm -hmm. I don't think we ordered dessert. Yeah. At Barry's. That's true. We ordered a lot. Um, we ordered I did a like lot. their their rib cap. That was amazing. Mm. Um, I do. Didn't think... we get like a soup there that we really liked? Yeah, too? the lobster bisque. Yeah, yeah the lobster, the lobster bisque. Uh, what else did we get? Uh... Get the Reuben sandwich at Saginaw's. It is yes. the best Reuben it sandwich in the good. city, hands down. Um, I actually really like uh, that Asian place we went to. Oh yeah, East. Eight East. That they have a really good. good like stir fried rice mm -hmm. and. We got actually it was a couple of really good things there. I don't know. It's I'm gonna been have a bit, to go rewatch. But it the was video. really good. Honestly, like just obviously it depends on your budget, but you can't go wrong with all three of those. Yeah, eight the east, Ruben. Saginaw's, and uh, berries. Yeah. Obviously, berries is really good. Yeah, because w weren't you at Resorts World the last time you like we, you t were talking to us, or you said you were there at Resorts World? Mm. I we just went to Resorts World a that few was days a, ago. I think that was the night that I went to Gatsby's. Oh. Was it? Yeah, that was just 
Did we go to Gatsby's on a Wednesday or a Thursday? It was a Thursday because it was we a went Thursday. to Thursday. Yep. So I think, wow. Damn. Time flies. Also, I'm about to heat up my shrimp meal. Do it. Because I know you're not hungry, but I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. Uh, Tell them why you're not hungry. Why I'm not hungry? So let's just yeah. say, I mean, it's going to come out on his channel, Dan vs. World. We went to the, um, <laughs> where did we go? We went to the all-you-can-eat buffet at the Palms. We went to the lobster buffet. And I smell like lobster. I don't know if that if that's a good thing or not, because we had a lot of lobster, and yeah. So, I had to do that, but yes. But thank you again, Slot Ninja. Good to see you. Hope you, hope you do go to Circa, because you'll love it. But yeah, oh, and thank you, Bill. Uh, housewarming party this weekend, hey. Thanks, Bill, and thank you for being a Norma Knight. Um, this weekend, probably not this weekend. I don't know, here, guys. I am not used to hosting. I want to, I really want to start hosting more, but I'm just not used to it just cause I don't know. It's, I've never really hosted and I don't, I don't want to be, <laughs> what are you making? Sriracha, sriracha shrimp bowl. Sriracha shrimp bowl. 320 calories, Lydia. Don't look at that, don't look at that part. You better save the rest for tomorrow. Okay. Don't look at the calories. Uh -huh. This is a lot of sodium, guys. 690 milligrams? I have no idea how much that is. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, but yeah. But yeah, thank you again. Oh yeah, so I do want to start hosting more. I just don't know how to because I feel like I'm going to be that person who is like, oh, no, don't touch that. You're going to break it. And like, make sure you only use uh, my plastic silverware. Don't use any of my regular. I don't know. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm going to be very picky about things. And I don't want to be like that but I have a feeling I am. And I'm also gonna be that person who, who says clear drinks only, meaning Chardonnays, beers is fine, no red wine. No red wine. Are you talking about hosting? Yeah. Um, oh, and then Chuckster's Adventure says, love your channel, keep up the great content. Thank you, Chucksters. Hi, Chuckster. Appreciate it. I try. <sighs> oh, and then Ed says, Jelly Pen Nation, the pilot, the pilot Jelly podcast. Pen. Jelly Pen. Oh, Yay. like the Jelly Pens from the 90s. I had it. I had those. Mm. Here, we can go into the kitchen so you can eat. Yeah, I was about to say, I don't think you want me to eat a sriracha shrimp bowl on your carpet. <laughs> I'm thinking that's Ooh. maybe a dangerous activity. Yes, very dangerous. Okay. Should we put it? Yeah, other side. Oh. Right here? Yeah, I'll bring a stool over. Yes, that's cool. 30 more seconds. Your microwave is so high tech. Yes. You hit the open, it just swings open. I know, I've never seen a microwave like that. I mean, that's cool. That's cool. I don't need it to be this high tech, but this is what I came with. So yeah, they have, a, it has an open thing. You just hit open and it opens up for you. So yeah, you don't have to pull it. Oh, there's what? no handle. Yeah, I noticed that. There's no handle, I just, okay. I just thought I it. also didn't know how to set it for three minutes exactly, so I just hit the uh, five min minute button. Inside? No, here. So no, like to hit open? All I saw was the five minute button. It's not right here. Oh. Yeah, so let me show, well. show y'all. So. Okay, I did not realize that. So yeah, you, let me show you from the beginning. Shut your face. I was like, how do Sorry, I set stop. This? So open. It opens up, and then there's more options right here. Well, I have to put it in a little bit longer because it's okay. still partly frozen. I almost hit my head on the microwave. <laughs> oh, don't do that. I don't do that. Did you? Mm. Open. Ugh. Hey, open. There we go. And then you set it. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then does it start when I close it? I don't know. Press, Press start. start. Okay. <laughs> I don't even know how to use a microwave okay. yet. Okay. Okay. We're figuring it out. Um, a plunger. <laughs> if it. Yeah. Did you put a plunger on your Amazon wish list? No. Oh. I don't need a plunger. Wow. <laughs> I drink kombucha. <laughs> you, you have. You take your fiber gummies. I. I drink my kombucha. That's. Enough. That's all you need. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'll thank you, Sam. Ooh, I think I saw Lydia in an ad for Las Vegas Merch Co. I think this is true. Oh, yep, 
That would be me. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so. I haven't done one in a while, though. Yes. I took pictures for you at the you Venetian did. for that. So if you saw a picture of Lydia with Merch Co., yep. there's a possibility I took that picture. Yep. There. Oh. One of my friends took the first set of photos and then you took the other set. Mm. So it's a 50 50 mm -hmm. chance. Okay. Show the people what you mean. Oh. I mean. Not cook, girl. Well, you have to like put it in, oh. you have to like stir it in. This is a sriracha shrimp bowl from Trader Joe's. This was $3.99. How does the Amazon wish list work? So I don't know exactly. All I know is Pat has a link. But okay, so I saw, cause I tried it on her phone. You click, you click on whatever and then it'll take whatever you. whatever gift. Yeah, whatever gift you want. And then it takes you to like the list of addresses. Here. And then, oh. I'll do it. Oh, also Andrew's out of work. Hold on, I have to text him. Hmm. Hold on one second. My son, my son-in-law. I'll see if he wants to come over. Yeah. Um. Okay, here's the wish list. Open with Chrome. Oh, I don't have Chrome downloaded. Hmm. Open yeah. with Safari. And then all the different products come up. Okay, so let's say that I'm gonna buy Norma a superfood, oh, well now it wants me to sign in. So never mind. So much for that tutorial. It did it the other, earlier. Andrew says he's gonna go home and eat Panda Express. Okay, good job, son. Let me see if I can okay. try this a different way. Oh, thank you, Jimenez. Congrats on your new home. Keep doing the good work. Thank you. Keep doing the good work. I know, I'm, I have to. I actually, I literally have no option now but to work. <laughs> like, I have to now. Okay. Now I'm on my Amazon. Here's the wish list. Mm -hmm. You click an item. You click add to cart. Proceed to checkout. However, I don't think I can show the checkout because it's going to have all my addresses. But then, oh, okay. But yeah, so Never mind. all your addresses <laughs> will come up, like whatever addresses you send to. And then one will say Norma Jelly address, mm -hmm. which is my P.O. box. It's going to go to my mm -hmm. P.O. box. And then. And, and then, then I sent it. it to you. Yeah. It'll be to my P.O. box. So. There you go. Yeah. Yes. I got that one. Okay. You got it. Th that's why I said I have no option but to do work now. Oh, that's true. <laughs> that's true. Is there any videos that you guys want to see? Do you ever ask people? <gasps> if do. Norma could do any video, what would it be? What would you guys want to see? Besides a day in the life of Richard, mm -hmm. my rooster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we're drinking Borrasca <clears throat> Champagne, Cava Brut. It's like less than $15 and it's a good one and it won't give you headaches. I have told Norma that the video I want her to do so I'll start the discussion. The video that I want Norma to do is trying every Gordon Ramsay restaurant in Las Vegas with Lydia. That's a very important part. Especially with Lydia. With Lydia, okay. <laughs> Man, how many is that? That's so, Hell's Kitchen, mm -hmm. Pub. Mm -hmm. um, Burger at Planet Hollywood. Fish and chips at the Link Promenade. Um, steak. At Paris. at Paris, and then his new one at Harrah's. Um, yeah, kitchen. Yeah. Maybe once the uh, the burger one opens, maybe I'll do it. Maybe at I'll, Flamingo? Because I wonder if the burger restaurant's going to be different. <clears throat> or is it going to be the exact same as Planet Hollywood? I feel like it'll be a little bit different. You know how when Vanderpump, Lisa Vanderpump, uh, opened her second cocktail garden at mm -hmm. Paris? They're I feel like they're different. very different. So right now he has six restaurants. Mm-hmm. So that means, would I have to try seven? Yeah, because then I would have to do seven. Yeah, that'd be a lot. Oh, God. That would be a long video. Yeah. I don't even know how you <laughs> would edit that. Let's see. 24 hours at Aria. Mm. I hope for that, too. I would love to do that. Um, let's see. Norma at EDC. Norma what? At EDC. Oh, EDC is coming up in May or April. Is it May? I think it's May. It's May, I think. 24 hours of the link, yeah. <laughs> Electric wheelchair race on the strip. I mean, that's kind of like senior occasion. Oh, yeah. We talked about doing yes. that. Mm -hmm. I still want to do that. Um, day pool party tours. Mm. Damn. 
You've done that a little bit before. Kind of. Now I'm back in Maine. Yes. Elope video. <gasps> a what video? An elope video. Mm. There's something romantic about eloping. Just a little bit. Yeah. Uh, spa reviews. Well, she would demand to be in that one. With Lydia. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. All, all the speakeasies. Well, I've done two videos about speakeasies, and I don't feel like I've covered them all. There's so many speakeasies here in Vegas. I could literally do a whole other video with mm -hmm. more speakeasies. I think the because last one. Because now there's one, a bunch of new ones. The last one I did, I think, had four or five speakeasies. Mm hmm. The one before that probably had like four or five as well. And I. I still had enough list to do another one, but I just did one in January, so it's probably gonna take a little bit. Um, celebrity chef videos, ice cream gelato videos, taking visitors out on the town, but the visitor pay, of course. <laughs> um, the camel one, not yet. I wanna do the camel one, that'd be cool. Camel? There's a camel place here. There but is? But it's like in Mesquite or something like that. Oh. Comedy, <laughs> Uh, five must things to do in Vegas. I feel like that could be anything. That's I feel a like lot. There's, yeah. I feel like everybody's five must things to do in Vegas depends on the person too. Mm -hmm. Like my five would be different than your five. Um, live stream from Jewel Nightclub. That would get 86 yep. immediately. YouTube would pull that down so fast. Yeah. And then it says I got a 199, but message retracted. Oh, well, interesting. You. Okay. If you did, send it. Um... Random things on the strip. Norma in Paris. Paris the Hotel. Paris Hotel or Paris, mm -hmm. France? Oh, both, please. Yeah, let's do Paris, France. Uh, I don't do tours, but she does picture tours. Um, do the one chip challenge with Lydia? A chip challenge? What's a one chip challenge? Um, what does that mean? Yeah, are we talking about chips and guacamole? Because then yes, I'm down <laughs> to do the one chip challenge. I like chips and sour cream. Mm hmm Norma, can you do 24 hours at Trump Hotel? Well. Mm. I feel like there would be nothing to do. There's a spa. And rooms. And do they, they have a restaurant, right? They have one do restaurant. Oh. I think they have one. Like a hotel okay. lobby restaurant. You know which one I want to do? That would be a real challenge. 24 hours at the Vidara. That's a real challenge. All they have at Vidara is they have a lobby bar. A Starbucks. A Starbucks. They have the spa, which is obviously the highlight. And a room. And that's it. That's literally it. I'll We'd have you. to play like card games in the room yeah. or something. Topic Toad says, Norma, can you do 24 hours at Trump Hotel? Yeah, well, that's what we're saying right now. Yep. There's not much to I do I mean, there. you could technically do it. We would just have to bring in activities. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. otherwise I feel like it could get boring very fast. Another Adam's Family video? That'd be cool. However, though, that video didn't do very well. No. People were not into it. That's okay. Um, Richard, tried. my rooster, that's his room over there. It's a closet, but he pimped it out. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there would be way too much copyright at EDC. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could never do EDC. It would have to be, like, all voiceover. Either that or, like, I'd have to constantly be talking to the camera for it to not copyright me in the background. Mm -hmm. uh, 24 hours South Point. I would do that. I mm. would do that. It smells like horses in there. <laughs> it does. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Cameron Hopkins. Hi, Norma. Congratulations on the new pad. It's very nice. Tell Lydia hello. Till next time, keep those jaywalkers in check. That's, That's right. right. Oh my God, all the poor Jay Walkers that Wait. are without my guidance right oh now. Oh my goodness, we need to recreate it. Here, I'll be I'll be a, a first time tourist in Vegas. <laughs> okay, we need, don't do a corner. Wait, wait, wait. This is don't do a corner. We're gonna recreate it for you guys because I know you are missing it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, I almost died. Oh well, let me continue crossing. Oh no! <laughs> was that good? Was that good acting? I You're welcome, good guys. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, except uh, for it to be the real "Don't Do a Corner," I have to have a excuse me, a oh, wait. stroller with my kid. The, the, it'd be the the grandmas, the children, and the wheelchairs. Here we go with my brand new baby. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Okay, I'm never acting again. The end. <laughs> Not the grandmas and the children and the, the end. And the wheelchairs. 
<laughs> Don't do it, Lydia. We look, <laughs> we look so brilliant. We can, we, this, this, these, these are the faces of Vegas. <laughs> you, can you tell we went to school here? No, I went to school here. Yeah, I didn't go to school here. <sighs> okay, that was exciting. <sighs> I, why am I sweating? I know, why am I like breathing hard? My head is glistening. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, lip smacking food tours. I've done a few of those. Mm -hmm. Norma is a magician assistant. Ooh, I could ask Jen Honestly, for that. Honestly, uh, the magician that came, and if you guys go watch Norma's Life of a Norma Jelly, um, your Fountain Blue behind the scenes video, oh, yeah. the magician that came when we were eating at yeah. Don's Prime, she was really good. Mm -hmm. um, ooh, bottomless boob champagne at Bardo and Aria. I've actually... I didn't do that, but I did a best brunches in Las Vegas, and Bardo was one of them. Yum. And uh, they did bring us a few Vuv champagne. It was yummy. But expensive. We're doing brunch together on Sunday, don't forget. Oh, yes. 11 a.m. Cool. Uh, can you help film after? Maybe. Um, possibly. Okay, because sweater re uh, oh, that's rescheduled. Right. Yeah, probably. Okay. Oh, thank you, Stan. When is the Norma cha Travel Challenge happening? Ooh. Well, I, I told you guys, I'm trying to go to New York. Mm-hmm. April or May. I'm supposed to go to Cancun in May. Ooh. Yeah. I'm excited, but I'm not. Not, okay, not that I'm not excited. Cancun is fine and all, but I've been there twice. And I want to just go somewhere new. I really want to go to or somewhere new. And I will go to Cancun because I need it. I truly need it. I just need to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, and I know my friends will be there. Escape. Yes, I do need an escape. Uh, but at the same time, I, I kind of want to go somewhere new. I don't know. Like Ooh. Nashville. Yes, I agree. <laughs> do a video where you're a concierge again, BTS style. Ooh. Well. You know what? You know what? <laughs> I had a couple ideas for a video, first of all. Though I don't know if this is like a full video or if I'm going to do, do this for my TikTok. But you know how down on Fremont Street they have the circles where the street performers can sign up to have a circle? What if you signed up for one of those circles and you dressed up in your old concierge outfit and you just gave concierge oh, advice God. and see how much money you could make in an hour? Ooh. Here's the thing. I would need my laptop because I do not have that much. No, no, that's a challenge. <gasps> No laptop. It's just you, and you have a name tag on, and your sign says, like, I'm a Las Vegas concierge. Ask me anything. And then you tell people, like, tip me whatever you want to tip, and the challenge is to see how much oh, you can dear. make in that hour. Maybe a few hours, because I feel like we would get a lot of crazy stuff in. Maybe yes. two hours. Yeah. And then the other video idea, I just found out today that Fremont Street is doing an all-you-can-ride slotzilla. Monday yes. through Thursday, 12 to 5 p.m., and I was like, I'm not going to do it. But she what if I made Andrew do it? She wants to kill us. I'm not doing it. You and Andrew can do it. How many Slotzillas can you ride in five hours? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I'd be dead. <laughs> I'd be like, I'm not doing this ever again. <laughs> Ooh, Tulum. Here's the thing. I don't, know where, I don't think we're going to go to Tulum. Because Cancun to Tulum is, what, two hours? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ooh, Li Norman Lydia go on a cruise video. I've only I'm been down. on one cruise ever. So... <laughs> Um, a live at Epson? No, they wouldn't let me do that. I am drinking uh -huh. a flavored sparkling water, by the way. That's water? Yep. Oh. Tangerine. Remember I told you I was going to get a yeah, sparkling but water? Yeah, think about it. This is a tangerine with ginger extract flavored sparkling water. I think I have to be done with champagne for today. I have to work tomorrow. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to go anywhere tomorrow. You're not filming tomorrow? No, my membership rescheduled. Oh, duh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow, lucky you. No, not lucky me, because now it's going to take days away from editing. Well, so. that's okay. Is, was that video supposed to come out next week? Oh. Yeah. Okay, so let's start. <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Well. She did clean that bowl. I was hungry. It's like 7.24 here. I normally eat dinner. I try to eat dinner around 6 if I can. Mm -hmm. But Andrew's schedule is weird at work, so we've been eating all over the place. Yes. But yeah, I was hungry. Um, wait. I have shrimp in my teeth. It is time to get crunk for Norma, maybe. Cheers. Drive an exotic car at exotics racing. So, so I, mm -hmm. I've done it. And I do like it because you can control how fast you go. You know? 
so I would not do it. I, I did do the uh, the drifting challenge, not drifting challenge, but like where the drifter takes you. That feels horrible. Mm -mm. I oh my god, I don't know if I would do the. Oh no no no. I don't want to do that. No. I don't want to do that. Because I'm thinking between jumping off the strat or doing that one. <gasps> no, I would pick the car. If I, I would had pick to pick, strat. I'd pick the car. Really? Because in the car, that's probably like five minutes worth of that's drifting. True. And you, the entire time feels like a car accident. <laughs> the entire time feels like you're about to get into a car accident. So and I've only done horrible. it. I hated it. I've done it. I did it once at SEMA because you know how they have the cars out front. So many years ago, I'm talking like 2017 or something, I was working out front of SEMA. And so I got the opportunity to go in one of those cars, but they only did, they called it a hot lap. And they did it, it was like maybe 60 seconds. And the driver said that I screamed more than any other person he had taken yeah. that day. I think maybe he even shortened mine because I was <laughs> screaming so loudly. He was like, we're done. I can't do it. It was terrifying. Yeah, I don't like it. Terrifying. Why is... My family's group chat popping out right now. Mm. Do you see all these notifications I'm getting? Mm -hmm. 2017 was many years ago. Oh my God, it's an old video of Andrew and his brothers. I know, I do want to do 24 hours at win. I need to do that one day. One day. Oh, yeah. How old is he? Ah! Oh, son! Look at him! He's probably like eight or nine here. Uh, Look at how cute he is! What? Something it, happened to his eye. He looks like he got punched in the face. Like it, yeah. That is so cute! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, sorry. That's, That's why okay. the family chat is blowing up. Aww. How sweet. Okay, should we move to the couch or something? Yeah, let's move to a different okay. area. Ugh. By the way, it's Nessa's 35th birthday today. Woohoo! Also, I think I need I'm to 35. Leave. Dude, I'm turning 36 in like two months. I'm turning oh 21. My Lord. Oh my god. Uh, you shouldn't be drinking, young lady. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on. I'm yeah, I'm gonna turn on this light really quick. And then bring in the champagne. Yeah, so this is now the comfy couch. Yeah, this is nachos time. 30, do you guys really think 36 is young? Cause, I don't know. I don't know, it's just, it's 36. So, yeah, basically in two months. 35 to 40, I hope so. Can I please just get married before 37? Damn, that's not gonna happen. Cause if I'm turning 36, this in like two months, so that means I'd have to get married in a year and two months. So that's not happening, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, just okay. Mm. okay. We are young, aw, thanks Naj. I said, what? Oh, like, can I just get married before 37? And I was like, wait, if I'm turning 36 in two months, that means I have a year and a half and two months to get married. So that's not happening. Well, you never, you know. never know. You never know. Hold on. I'm looking for my battery charger. My phone is dying. Like, I don't know. How do you guys feel about when you meet somebody and then, you know, those people who like, they get married within six months or Ooh. something like that. Like, I don't know. Yes, it sounds crazy and all, but at the same time, it's like, when you know, you know. This is true. As long as they pass the Lydia approval <laughs> process, this is true. Because, yeah, sometimes you feel like you might not know someone in less than six months. I don't know. You, you could. Know. You could, but you'd have to go through a lot of tests. Oh, here. You want to still use this, right? Bye. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh like terrifying. Guys. Ah. There you go. Oh, thank you, Tony Aquino, for the four ninety nine. dollars Hiya. Hiya. Wait, are you going to drink the rest of your champagne? Um, probably not, because I have to work tomorrow morning. So you can drink it for me. Okay. But I will drink my sparkling water with you. Cheers. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. 
Cheers, Kate. Cheers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Lydia, Lydia vetting potential applicants. That could be a whole YouTube video. Mm -hmm. I don't think anybody would watch that. Do you want some green mango? Ooh, I'll try one, yeah. Oh, this, this looks sweet. It is sweet. Mm -hmm. Prepare yourself. These are mangoes. Oh. Brothers 27 just got engaged in Germany after dating eight months. Oh, well, see. Sometimes it happens. You know, you know. Andrew and I dated... I think three years before we got engaged, but that's because we met when we were like 17 and 18, mm -hmm. so. Or 18 and 19. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, that's what I kind of wonder. Which marriages are more, more successful? The ones that got married in like those months type of thing, or the ones that took years to get married? Hmm. Yeah. Let what us know think? in the chat. What do you guys think? What have you guys seen? Let us know in the chat, guys. Because my parents are divorced, but I don't know how long they took to get married. Yeah, Anna says, that was me and my husband. We've been married for 35 years, and we were married within six months. So not even engaged, wow. but married. And they've Aww. been together for 35 years. So, Damn. see? It could happen. Mm. My sister and her husband got married right at six months of knowing each other. Aww. And it's been almost 20 years. Oh, I love that. So there you go. <gasps> My parents knew each other three months and it was less than 47. Wow. That's so wild. that's So that's the thing. You just have to find someone and just know and then just do it. Dang. I'm down. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I mean. If I, if I know. If I know, I know. I want to mm. pan your bachelorette party, so. <laughs> yeah, let's Brandon's like, I'm 40 and single. I don't know anything about this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, three months out of 36 years. Dang, guys. See, like it's, it sounds like it's really successful. But what's the secret about that? That's what I want to know. Like, what is it about know, knowing each other so little? Is it because you have so much passion for each other? Or maybe because you have to, like, grow into knowing each other? And you have to accept them, and it's kind of like, shit, we did this. We might right. as well, like, get, do it all You the have way. to make it work? Yes, because, like, if you're with someone, let's say three years, for example, then you almost like, oh, shoot, we've been together now. I think this should be the next step versus if you're together for six months, whatever, you're like, oh, my God, I just, I need this person in my life. So it's kind of like you just, you just want them so bad okay. versus like, oh, I should. Maybe. Like, oh, this is the next step. Like, we may mm. as well do it. Hmm. Could be. Huh. Could be. This is, this is champagne talks, guys. Yeah. This is, this, I don't even know what we're talking about right now. <laughs> we started with talking about the house. Now we're talking about getting married. Yeah. I mean, it comes with it. Okay. Oh, that's true. See, if, I'm not saying we're going to have a podcast, but that'd be a cool podcast name. Champagne Talks. Pen and or, oh, Champagne Talks. Champagne Talks. Honestly, that's a great name. It is kind of a good name. And like we actually drink champagne on every podcast. Yeah. And then we get sponsored by a different mm. brand of champagne on every podcast. <laughs> Dude, that actually is a good name. Yeah. Champagne Talks. You don't, not Cocktail Time Talk. Cocktail know. time is good. That is our we, thing. We do like But I kind of like champagne talks. I know. Champagne talks kind of nice. Would you guys listen to our Here, podcast? Here's the thing, though. And this is something that I've had struggles with my whole life. Even more into an adulthood. I say stupid shit. That's and same. not in a good way. Like, I say things that people are like, oh, why would you say Well, it's not like know? it would be a live podcast. We can I edit guess. it. That's true. My problem is that I talk too much. Mm. So we'd have to edit way a lot of my talking down and yeah. increase yours. Because <laughs> otherwise, it would just be me talking. Yeah. But it's a good thing because sometimes, like, I, again, when we were doing 24 hours, no, when we were doing bachelorette party, there was a moment where I was just, like, so tired and some people were like trying to interact with us, and thank God Lydia was there to keep them busy because I was like, I cannot talk to That's anyone true. right now. I can pretty so, much always talk. Yeah, but okay. So what were we talking about? Champagne talks. Champagne and, talks podcast. And I talk, and I say stupid shit. I say stupid shit all the time, which is kind of scary because I have gotten like, you know, bashed on for that. So, well. I think everybody says stupid stuff. We would just have to be very careful to balance our champagne and our talking. I know. This is true. <laughs> what could we, what would we even talk about? Like, what would be the topics? Just like Vegas? No, I feel like it has to be everything. We can't tie ourselves down to just that. So we just talk about whatever topic we want to talk yeah, about. Yeah, but obviously they, Vegas is our life, so we have to, you know. I feel like we Vegas. should only have it be like 20, 30 minute episodes. Like, they shouldn't be like an hour long. Mm -hmm. 
I say 30 to 40. Really? Five. Yeah. Do we have that much to talk about? Yeah. Okay. We've been talking for like 94 minutes right now. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Okay. We'll think Let's about see. it. Uh, Teresa's Crazy Life says, sounds great, do it. Ah, uh, thank you, Teresa. We have one listener. <laughs> yes, we've got one. <laughs> but that's the thing, it's like, okay, I'm very business driven, so it's like, is it gonna make us money? Is Are we gonna spend more money True. doing it? Then we would have to rent a studio. Not necessarily, we just need mics. Cause I've seen people who just do it on their couch. Like we could have it like here. I, yeah, I don't want to go into a studio because then I feel like people would be watching me Ooh. and I would be uncomfortable. Well, yeah. how much is a mic? Let's look up Amazon. Let's put it on my podcast mic. <laughs> what do I just do? You could just do it off. Uh, you could just do it off my road mics, honestly. Like to start with, right? Yeah. But I want to have the cool podcast. Okay, podcast equipment bundle on Amazon. Some is like 40 bucks, some is 80 bucks. Really? 90. I think it's just getting easier and easier. Okay, that's need, actually much you just cheaper than I thought. You just need microphones. But here's the thing, it's like... Yeah, because those are kind of like the microphones you already yeah. have. Here's the thing, look, I feel like yeah. everyone has a podcast. Everybody does have a podcast. But then at the same time, everybody has a YouTube channel. We Not could talk about that. drama. I could. I have a topic of drama. Yeah, right now. Here's a drama. Um, I saw that there's drama right now because hit the subscribe button, guys. Thanks for sponsoring us, Champagne of the Month. Um, <laughs> there are a lot of pages, Instagram pages, that will just reshare other people's content. I just saw this today, and there's one page in particular that has been resharing a lot of content without getting people's permission. So there are some pages that will reach out to me and be like, hey, can I reshare this video? And I'm like, sure, or no, or whatever. But most of the time I just say yes. I'm like, fine, just tag me. Tag me. Um, but I guess there's this one page on Instagram that has not been doing that, and they've been resharing all this content and not tagging people, and they have like 50,000 followers now, and now they've been saying like, you have to pay to, like they're saying, you have to pay to be posted. So now they're turning the page now that they have the followers from stealing content. Uh, they're telling people, hey, if you pay us, we'll post your content ew, on the page. No, that's And I horrible. was like, that is some tea. I that know. is some that's tea. horrible. Yeah, I don't think that's good. Cause they got the followers from stealing other people's first content. All, not only are th are you paying them, let's just say if you do it, but if they do make money off your reels, now they're getting double paid. Exactly. Versus they should just be getting paid off of reels because they're getting free content right. that they did not have to work for. Right. Lydia had to go to all these places and go and try and tip at the restaurants, whatever. She had yep. to do the real work, and they just reshare. Yep. Which I'm not saying every page is like that because a lot of the pages do ask for permission mm -hmm. and you can tell because they tag the person in the, you know, in the description or yeah. whatever. But <laughs> I was like, that's some tea. That's some tea. Kind of some, some tea. But some tea. How much was the house? You have to watch my Life Ooh. and Armor Jelly video. I watched today. it <laughs> and I liked it. And she subscribed. Well, she's been subscribed. And I did. I have subscribed. Yes. Please, guys. I have a twenty six hundred dollars. How many? How many subscribers right do you have? I'm oh, I just turned Norma fifteen thousand today. Really? Yes. Yep. Fifteen k. Nice. And your how much does my new Las Vegas house cost? Is twenty two thousand views? Because all good. of us are so nosy. I was like, click. Let me see. <laughs> <laughs> well, I already knew, but already I was knew. like, let me yes. get the tea. This is fun. Okay. Hi from Portland. Hey, my favorite music. Okay, I've been kind of into like Mexican music lately. Nice. Like straight up Mexican music. Nice. I don't know. Like, you know, you guys know that one guy, Peso Pluma? He's like a, he's like half. I know Bad Bunny. No, so this guy's like <laughs> half reggaeton, half like full on Mexican music. But What's cool. full on Mexican music? What does that mean? So it just, it's like, you know, the, the guys with the, Mar the bands. Oh, bands. mariachi? Yeah. My, okay. I guess so. But here, I'm going to show her the song just so she knows. Um, but you guys know that song, Ella Baila Sola? Nope. Um, well, the one, okay. Is this going to get you copyright claimed? I'll, just, I'll have it low. Okay. Just so she can hear. 
Lately, I've been listening to the Dune soundtrack. I haven't seen that movie. <laughs> oh, the soundtrack is so good. And I'm, actually... I just know I'm going to be confused The guy... That well, you need to watch it with Andrew because I watched the first one with Andrew at home mm -hmm. and he like paused it every five seconds and explained it. So then I could watch the second one. Okay. Um, that is very Mexican. I know, right? But it's like... But I like it. it it's, it's like, like it, remixed. Well, it's kind of, it's like today's yeah. Mexican. Yeah. Okay. So. I could see how that would get me energized for the morning. It, it kind of does. It, it energizes me, at least. <laughs> I've been listening to the Dune 2 soundtrack. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much it. Puro corrido. Yeah, and here's the thing. Is that like, so when I was 18 years old, I had a boyfriend that was like, he would, he, you know, he was American, but his family was straight from, like, Mexico, and they, he would go back every summer and mm -hmm. whatever. So he was very Mexican at heart. And, I mean, I'm Mexican, too. So he taught me, like, how to dance. He would take me to, like, all the Mexican concerts. The Norma one does know how to dance. Yeah. Where did we go the one time where you were Makers and Finders for First yeah. Friday? Mm -hmm. I saw you dance, and I was like, dang, this girl actually knows but, how to dance. But that's salsa and merengue. Uh, like... Dancing to Mexican music like that? Where did you like and Ruby dance? At Park and GM. What was the name of that place? I cannot remember yeah, the name of that, that was, place. Yeah, but that was, that um, Mama But you were Rabbit. like whipping around the dance floor and Mama I was Rabbit. like, yeah, Mama yeah. Rabbit. Uh, but that one again was like merengue and all that. But yeah, like I would go to like the concerts where there is no chairs on the, on the, you know where there's chairs like on the right. floor? There is no chairs, and that is just dance floor for Mexican music. That actually sounds so, like a great time. Yeah. So I've been dancing since I was 16. Obviously, the older you get, the less you dance because everybody starts getting married and all that, and it's, like, inappropriate to dance with someone who's married, <laughs> you know, uh, unless you've known them for forever. But even so, like, my friends that are married, I don't dance with them anymore. Oh. So, yeah. So, but, yeah, I, I think I'm good at Hispanic dancing. Well, yeah. I would offer to dance with you, but I have no rhythm whatsoever, so. Yeah. And, Sorry. And I'm not very good at teaching. <laughs> at teaching. Oh, my phone. Sorry. <laughs> um, La Chona. Oh, yeah. That'd be kind of funny to have her dance. Well, yeah. So, I don't know. So, we were talking about cumbia. What music gets your day going? Hmm. I don't really listen to music in the mornings. I don't. Here's the thing. To I be feel honest. like I don't really listen to music. I listen to stand-up comedy, but lately I've been listening more to music. No, lately I listen to a lot of YouTube videos. Like I'll normally play one of mm -hmm. yours or Jaycation or like anybody. I normally listen to something. Dance. Okay, so here's the thing. Dancing at clubs. I don't really dance at clubs. Mm-mm. I mean, you kind of do more. We dance it. We dance for the montage. Yeah, but she will dance, but if dance, we're at yes. a table, not yes. so much out of the dance. Because floor. I don't want any random dudes to come up to me and dance with me. Yeah, there's lots of groping. But when we were at Zook last week for our friend's birthday party, we had a table, and so I was down to dance at the table because we were in a group mm -hmm. together. So I knew that with people no you guy can was, trust. Exactly, no guy was going to come up to me because yeah. I'm married. Okay. Andrew, I'm not dancing with anyone, I promise. She was like, no, I'm sorry. No. Not for me. No, no, I'm no. Married. I'll send uh, Richard after you. Uh, Doug says, congrats on the house. Longtime follower getting cut up again on your vids. For my trip back to Las Vegas in April. Can't wait. Hi, Lydia. Thank you, Doug. Hi, Doug. Yes. Um, there's lots of videos. Once a week. Every Friday. Once a week and once a week on your second channel. Wednesday. And Friday. Also at 8 a.m. Yeah. Yes. What do you guys think of Wednesdays at 8 a.m.? Do you prefer Tuesdays at 8 a.m.? What about Sundays at 8 a.m.? I don't think Sunday. I don't know. I've, I've been seeing lately a lot of the people I follow, when they post on a Sunday, they get high views. But mm. when I did it on Sundays a long time ago, I didn't get high views. But at the same time, I was like... I had way less followers. I will tell you, Norma, you that I would watch your videos on Sunday right now, but as soon as NFL season starts in September, I'm not watching it. Mm. Sorry, I don't love you that much. Ah. Go Lions! <laughs> Let's see. Uh, keep it in the morning. Yeah. Cute. Oh. Huh. I, can't, I, have, I can't have pets right now. I got Richard. Well, you can have yogurt and Blackie. 
Yogurt, yogurt and Blackie, actually, my cats actually love Norma. Actually, wait. No, they don't. Wait, look. Hold on. Hold on. I don't Should think I show I said them? Yogurt. Should I show them what happened? That was accidental. No. That, they didn't mean it. One of her cats. See this mark right here? One of her cats scratched me. It was an accidental. Look at this. Can I show them this yes, video? Yeah, that is cute, actually. Okay, hold on. Are you gonna get coffee? Wait, 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 wait. Don't do it yet. Hey, Norma. You ready to go get coffee? Um, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think she's gonna let me. <laughs> she's like, hey, can you put that blanket she's back like, down? I'm gonna come in. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> Yogurt, what are you doing in there? She said, I didn't consent to being on camera this early in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, so I had like a blanket on like this, and then the cat comes and she like that's yogurt, yeah, not yogurt. the cat. That's yogurt. So yogurt comes up and she like gets right here, and then she like starts like trying to wheeze, and I was like, oh, <laughs> okay. So I open it up and she comes and sits right here, because obviously the blanket is like to here. Yep. So she comes and just comes in here. You had like a blanket. It for was her. cold. It was rainy. It was. It was very rainy that that day. Because that was so. last week, right? Almost two weeks ago. Was that two weeks ago? It was like 10 days ago. Oh, yeah. shoot. I cannot keep track of time. That was the yes. day. Yogurt is the name of her cat. Yogurt is the name of my cat. And Blackie. Norma slept over at my place. We woke up. We went and got coffee. We went to, where'd we get? Target. Lunch. Zappos. No. Zappos. Zupas. Zupas. <laughs> and I had a delicious salad. And then we went to Target. It was a great day. It was actually kind of cool. It was a great day. Yeah. It was like. I loved it. It was rainy Target. and we didn't really do much. We didn't, we weren't very productive. No, <laughs> no. But we, I mean, you got a couple things at Target for your house, didn't you? Did I? I mean, Maybe. you got your face wash. Yeah, actually, yeah, you're right. I did do quite a bit of shopping. I got an outfit for an upcoming video that we cannot mention. Yeah. So anyways, yes, my cats love Norma. Yogurt Sometimes. and Blackie. The only reason Blackie scratched you is because he was in a bad mood. Because you wouldn't feed him. Yeah. And then the other one, well, the one that was in here, yogurt, she bit me once. No, it's not a bite. It's just like a little love. It's a love moment. It's a, it's a bite. Hmm. Mm. Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, cats are cool. I don't mind cats. I love cats. Hmm. You want my champagne? With my pomegranates? Yes. Here, I should probably throw my stuff away. Okay, keep the questions coming. I probably need to leave around eight. No. I know. I know. That's still like 15 minutes. No. Don't leave me. Well, I'm not leaving yet. Don't worry. There's okay, Rob. Oh, there. Robert says, be there in Vegas in October weekend before Halloween. Congrats on the house. Drinks on me with you and Lydia and Andrew. Hi, Lydia, and cheers. Oh, thank you, Robert. Hi, Robert. Cheers to you, Robert. Um, mm. So, tomorrow you're not doing anything? I mean, I, I mean, I'm gonna edit for sure. Well, you could meet up with me after my tour because I have to go get some footage at Nectar Life. Mm. Is that gonna be in your next Life of a Norma Jelly? Yes, because I couldn't put it in this. So I cannot say too much about it, but Norma and I had, how we can had we say the it? The best event ever. That's we it. went to a really, really good influencer event. Yeah. We are very blessed that we get invited to a lot of influencer events, but this one was awesome. That one is like, I mean, whatever. Awesome. It's fine. They, We made a whole bunch of like... You know those places where you go and it looks like a cupcake, but it's really soap? Mm -hmm. We got to make our own, and my bathroom is, like, stocked full of them. And now that I finally have a bathtub, yes. Yep. So Andrew and I did a staycation at Palace Station <gasps> over the did week. Did it? And I did. Nice. I brought one of the products. I brought the one that they said that you can use as, like, a shaving cream and a oh, makeup remover. Yeah. And I, like, used it when I was in the bath, and it was so smooth. Aww. It smelled so good. Nice. Anyways, but I have to go to one of those places tomorrow after my tour and just get, like, a little B-roll in the mm. store. So if you want to come, you can. Cool. I'll oh, text you the details. The Mighty Bull says, listening, watching, thinking of money and cows. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Thank you, Mighty Bull. We will also think of money. And then Heather says, congrats on the house. I would definitely tune in for champagne talks. We have two uh, listeners. Yes. We got two. I know. 
But yeah, so I don't know. But that was my whole case. I say really stupid shit sometimes. And that's because, and this is what it is. I blame the era I grew up in because the era I grew up in, like everyone kind of says shit. This was when bullies were like the main thing in like school mm -hmm. and everything. And my friends were the bullies. I wasn't the bully, but all of my friends were the bullies. What? I know. Dude, and I was the one that got bullied. No. I was protected by the bullies because they were my friends. No. Um, your friends would have bullied me then. When I was a teenager, I had really bad teeth before I got braces. <laughs> and there was one kid in particular that would always call me Husqvarna. And I, was, I didn't know what that meant. I just knew that it was bad, but I didn't know what it meant. Come to find out, it's a brand of um, chainsaws. Because he was saying that my teeth were messed up oh like God. a chainsaw. That's horrible. I know. Well, first things first, thank you to Boomer Tuber for the dollar. Hey, Boomer. Uh, but yes. Um, okay, I feel so bad because I was never I was never the bully, but I grew up around them. And oh my God. It's hard for me to was, imagine you being a bully. No, I don't think I was a bully. But it's just like you grow up around how they talk about it. Plus, I'm Mexican. And if you guys know, Mexicans talk shit all day every day to each other if they are your mom your best friend whatever they talk so much shit so that's like what i got used to so that's the era i grew up in and then boom out of nowhere it's like everything's pc everything has to be like very careful in what you say so it's kind of like shoot this you is how to like I adjust up. your mindset yeah and it's really hard because obviously like i grew up like that and it's i'm not saying it's hard to change me it's just I will do my best, but it comes out. I'm not perfect. Yeah. You're not? <gasps> Podcast over. <laughs> so, yeah. And, okay, I'm going to tell you guys, because this is Champagne Talks right now. One of the Beginning worst tea. One of the worst ones that I heard my friends say, because my friends, they were girls. Is this appropriate for live streams? Yes, it is. Okay. It was so sad, and I felt so bad that this, they said this is poor girl. We were, like, what? in sixth grade. Did they call someone Husqvarna? No. Not so this girl, bad. she was a little hairier. No, I'm hairy. No. No, she was hairier, and I felt so bad. They called her Chewbacca. No. And they would do the, the noise to her. I felt so bad one day, like, they did it to her, and I went up to her, and I was like, I am so sorry. That's awful. That is awful. But that kids can be so yeah. freaking mean. Who even <laughs> thinks of that? That's awful. That is awful. Like, poor girl. No, yeah. no, guys. If there's any teenagers watching this, be nice. Be nice to people. It's kind of like in that movie, um, the one with Channing Tatum, where Magic he, Mike. No, no, no. Where he goes, where he's like a cop, but then he be, pretends to be a high schooler. Oh, um. With Jonah Hill. Yes. Why can I not think of that? A uh, 21 Jump Street. Yes. So remember how, like, you know, he's like a, a, a jock. And yeah, he's, he's like the cool kid. Yeah. And then he goes back to high school, and now he, like, makes fun of a kid. And someone's like, what the, what the hell are you doing? Like, right. that's not cool. And, like, now the cool kids are, like, cool. Yeah. Like, you know, they're chill. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of... I'm not saying I, again, I'm like that, but it's just like, it was a, a, switch. a switch like that. Wait, speaking of Shannon Tatum, mm -hmm. I'm surprised you kind of showed this in your life of a Norma Jelly, but oh, yeah. very briefly, tell everybody what you won at the Penn and Teller event. Yes, so at the Penn and Teller event, I could not they, believe They did this. a whole bunch of raffles, and my, I, they happened to get my raffle number, ticket, whatever, and I got four free tickets to Chippendales. I could not believe it. <laughs> of all the prizes... Norma won four free tickets to Chippendales. Lydia can't Have wait fun. to go. I'm <laughs> not going. I'm not going. I've I'm gone terrified. once, and it is a little raunchy. It's um, a lot raunchy from what I've heard. Yes. It's definitely way worse than Magic Mike. Because uh -huh. Magic Mike at least is respectful, and it's all about women empowerment. This one is straight up like you're at a strip club. Yeah. Pretty much. Can I say that on YouTube? Yeah. Club of, club of strips. The the gentlemen are not being gentlemanly. We'll say that. Yeah. So. Oh. Oh, barely now. Just go home. Yeah, that's surprising. The chip and the dales. I don't know. I don't. I'm not going to that. But I hope you have a great time. Yeah, maybe. Would Giselle go? I don't know actually. I already have two girls at Cydia's that were part of the concierge association. Right. 
there, when Norma won that prize, there were a couple girls there that she already knew. And there were girls were like coming up to her and were like, I'll go with you. I'll go with you. <laughs> you don't even okay. have to ask anyone. They were just like, make sure you invite me, Norma. <laughs> but it, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I would go. I just haven't gone in a room. I haven't gone since like pre-quarantine. Are they at Excalibur? No, that's Thunder from Down Under. Oh, Chippendales is the one at Rio. Yes. Okay, okay. I'm getting them so, confused. Hence the reason why a lot of people go to Rio. Well, I mean, hey, Teller, that's a good reason. Penn and Teller. I will go back to Penn and Teller, but I will not go to Chippendales. Tri Penn and Teller was actually really good. Penn and Teller they was were fun. so funny. They were really funny. And they had some tricks that were like really impressive, honestly. Ooh, Dark Brandon said, have you heard Trump building in Vegas maybe for sale? I did hear about that. Really? I heard that I Trump know. might be selling his portion to Phil Ruffin, who is the guy who owns Circus Circus. Okay. But so I don't would know. it not be called Trump anymore? Maybe. I feel like they would still keep the name. Because oh, the you, name Graciela. is iconic. Congrats on your home. Have your parents seen your home? On video. There you go. Not yet. I haven't really had many people over. No. I've had pretty problems. much had the people that helped you move. Yeah. Wait till it's like fully set up before you show everybody. I mean, it's fully set up except for the... the Amazon wish list. <laughs> and the flowers. Aw. I know. I love the flowers. I need more flowers in my life. I really do. Smell them. They smell pretty good, actually. Mm. Yeah, they do. This is from the same Trader Joe's. I went to this Trader Joe's a couple weeks ago, and there was a lady shopping barefoot. Mm -hmm. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. Okay. Well, I was like, what is going oh, on? Mama Strosa said, when is the housewarming party? I mean, this is one of them. This is a housewarming party. We had shrimp sriracha bowl. We had green mango from Trader Joe's. Champagne. We had um, champagne. Let me take Xandro. I don't know after that. Oh, Andrew. Let's oh, see. Andrew. If you're going to paint, you should get some. Oh. I don't know if I want to paint, guys. I kind of just like You have a walls. lot of walls if you're going to paint. Yeah. And I, I've heard if, like, someone comes in to paint, it's a lot of money. Yeah. Everything is so expensive now. I don't get you it. You could just do, like, accent walls, maybe, where you just paint, like, a, one wall here, one wall there. I as guess. An accent but wall. I don't even see what would be a good color. I don't know. Let's see. Um, oh, thank you. Vitaly says, congrats on your new house. Very happy for you. Oh, thank you so much. Yes. Um... This is the house. It's nice. Yeah, did you show? <laughs> did you, you sh we showed everything, right? Oh, uh, I don't think we showed the, uh... The, I feel like we missed something. The, the other bedroom, the spare bedroom. Oh, yeah, show the spare there? bedroom. And then I okay. should probably go. Mm. I know, I know, I know. Okay, I'm sorry. Do this. Can you grab it? Grab the champagne or grab the thing? The thing. The gimbal. Yeah, grab the thing. Hi, guys. Wait, should I flip it around? There, I flipped it. It has been flipped. Here we go. Into the darkness. Dun dun dun. <laughs> this is this your is prop a... closet. Oh yeah, show it, show it off. Here's Norma's so, prop closet. This is from Brocation. This was also from Brocation, right? Oh, no, not Brocation, sorry, Bachelor Party. Because I have one of these shirts. I know. Didn't we, did we wear this to the club? We didn't go to the club. No, the day club. Yes, we did. Right? Yeah. Didn't we go to IU? That was where I, me and George drank too much. Yeah. And I came back and you got mad at me because I was drunk and I had to take a nap on the couch. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't able to be part of the next scene. <laughs> Oopsies. Uh, behind the scenes of what really happened. Oopsies. What about, these are not. No, these are just these stuff are just I don't really stuff. use. This is more. Barbie. Yes. Too bad that we're not the same size because I would actually like wear these. Those. Oh, thank you, Be Natural. Congratulations, Norma. Happy for you. Are you going to fish? I don't think so, just because I don't really know any fish music. <laughs> nope, not even close. Try it. I am. No. Not even clothes. Sad. I would actually wear those. 
Um, let's your see what else. Bag. Okay. Oh, then Philly, Filthy Phil says, congratulations on buying a house um, and many more blessings come your way. You truly are the best. God bless you, Norma. What does it say? Uh, Norma J and Lydia podcast. Hey, I would, I would do hella like... Uh, yes. Guest yeah. appearances. Heck yeah. I feel like Jay would actually make it really fun. I know. Oh, and then Todd Wiley says, keep it up. Thank you, Todd. Cheers, Appreciate Todd. it. Should we sit here for a sec? Yeah, we can okay. sit here for Oh, which, by the way, um, this was a gift from someone in, a while ago. Uh, but, yeah, this was from one of my favorite. It's so echoey in here. Jeez. It is echoey, huh? But, yeah, this is from um, a friend. Yeah. Um, Wait, it says I missed I from. you missed too. Well, I'll find out. You got Filthy Phil, Be Natural Studios. Did you get Be Natural Studios? It says Studios? I missed from Michael Quinones and Graciela Montano. Okay. Here's, Sorry. here's Graciela. No. Oh. That, you got that one about have your parents seen your home. Oh, yeah. I did get that one. And then Michael? Quinones. Quinones. Oh, yeah. A th oh, yeah. Sorry. I did. I saw that, but I forgot to read it. A thousand percent. Norma was in the Chola group. So. The Chola group? Isn't that like the button-down plaid yeah. shirts? Yeah. I mean, like, I wasn't exactly in the Chola group, but yeah, everybody in San Diego was Cholas. So it was very weird for me to move from San Diego to Las Vegas, where in San Diego, my high school was like 50% Mexicans. Oh, wow. And then I come to Vegas, and it's maybe 10% Mexicans. That, that is random. It was very hard for me to adjust. Carrie wants to know who is Richard. Richard the Rooster. If you, Oh, thank you, Brenda. Um, 30 for maybe start an herb garden. I actually have thought about that. Or you could get like little planters that you could put on your windows or something. Yeah, something where that it's like it's not cute. directly outside because they would burn outside. Yeah. Especially in the summer. You'd have to water but I do them want like an herb garden. so often. That's a good idea actually. Mm -hmm. I like the herb, the herb garden idea. Yeah, thank you Brenda. Oh, but yes, Richard is my rooster. Yeah. So if you guys have ever watched any, pretty much any. Besides my, like the first one or two. And then there's like one in between where I didn't mention Yeah, we didn't do it. The majority of my 24 hour videos, we mention Richard. Oh, that's what I was gonna show you. Sorry. Go ahead, keep talking. Yeah, talking. Richard the rooster. So whenever we wake up, there's like a and then that's Richard. And we keep the joke is that like I bring my rooster to the 24 hours to wake us up. Yeah. So now eventually he didn't ha okay, he didn't have a name. Right. But eventually I had to think about it. I was like, everyone kept asking. I think him, at like, Reno you introduced his yeah. name. Yeah. Mm -hmm. People were like, well, what's his name? And I was like, oh, I gotta give him a name. Mm -hmm. And I thought Richard, because you know, Richard is Dick, uh -huh. Dick is Cock, Cock is a rooster. So <laughs> there you go. And Richard is uh, kind of a little bit of yeah, a he is kind Richard. Of a dick. Ah, uh, thank you, Mama Stroso. I appreciate it. So this is a story I was going to tell you. I am part of a lot of Facebook groups. And this one Facebook group that I'm in is called Fountain Blue Las Vegas Members, Guests, and Fans. I don't know why I'm in all these Facebook groups, but I am. And the other day I was in the group and somebody had posted your uh, oh. second channel video. What actually happened at the Fountain Blue. And somebody commented and said, great video, but should have included more footage of the exciting casino. And I, so I commented and I was like, hey, this was just the behind the scenes. If you search Norma Jelly's main channel, you'll see the full video, 24 hours at Fountain Blue. But I thought it was funny because somebody yeah. thought that this was like a full recap video we did about the Fountain Blue. And I was like, no, this is just the behind the scenes. Yeah. But anyways, that's the fun. story. I liked it. I really love how like Shane was like, I don't know. I love introducing like good food to people. Oh, and Don's Prime was so good. It really was. Like we took all their suggestions and they like knocked it out the park. They were sure. excellent. They were yeah. excellent. Okay, I have to go. I told Andrew I would leave at eight. I know. Don't be mad. Mm -hmm. Stay on for a little bit longer, but I gotta go. Okay. Give me a hug. Let's go walk Lydia out. Okay, come on. Everybody <laughs> walk me out. <laughs> Come on, moms and dads of Lydia. I'll stay on a little longer, just in case. Okay. Just in case. You never know. I mean, you may as well if you don't have to work tomorrow. Yeah. I'm taking Andrew's bowl. This is the <laughs> one I got for Andrew. What is it? What this is the green chili chicken bowl. This is Andrew's favorite thing from Trader Joe's. It's American Mexican food. <laughs> is it Mexican? I don't know. It might not be very Mexican. 
Okay, let me get my keys. Aw, people are saying, no, Lydia, don't go. I'm in your hearts, guys. Let's turn it around for I'm Lydia. I'm in your hearts. Okay, am I going out front door or back door? Front door. Okay, let me lose my shoes then. Also, make sure you don't fall on your face. I know. <laughs> Which one is the light? No. Oh, one of them. There. Okay, hold on. Is it going to beep at me? No. A little bit. I know it is kind of weird, but it's okay. Okay. Someone said, "Bye, Felidia." <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Like, is that a Felicia? It's Felidia. Bye, Felicia. Okay, guys. As you know, it is Wednesday night in Vegas, and there's going to be a wind advisory tomorrow afternoon. Really? It's going to rain. It's just tomorrow afternoon. It's just like the afternoon and then it will be over by Friday. Hopefully everybody Ugh. send good vibes because normally yes, they're please. coming something Friday. Yeah. And we do not want it to be windy. Feats. And then it's going to rain on Saturday. And Norma has an Amazon wish list. <laughs> and that's it. Hug. Okay. Are you right. showing my feet? Yeah. Okay. Everybody give Lydia a hug. Bye, Yay. everybody. Okay. That was such a good hug. And for me. Yeah, I'll text you when I get home. Okay. Okay. Be safe. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. I'll see you either tomorrow or Friday. Okay. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Okay, turn off the light. Let's go back upstairs. Bye. I'm almost falling. <sighs> okay. Aw, so sad. It's just me and Richard now. Okay. Let's go in the in the other room. I feel like we haven't really been in this room yet. Dude, I look so sweaty right now. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <sighs> but yeah. <laughs> Lydia, I don't how tall is Lydia? I think she's 5'5, five, 5'6, five, five, something like that. And I'm 5'1. <sighs> it doesn't look like we're no, I guess we are five inches apart. But yeah. Uh, yes, Gorilla is only open on Fridays for now. Oh, okay, see, I'm not used to the stairs. I'm like still like, you know. Oh, but yeah, um, I don't know. This is very weird now. I feel like I got so used to having her with me. But on living spaces, dang, I don't remember. Here, let's go look it up. Let's go into my office and look up this couch because I know a lot of people are wondering about it. Okay, wait, turn on the light. Yes. Okay. So this is me mainly now when I edit. Let's put it over here. I don't want it to spill on my desk. Okay. I know, this is my, my nice little office now. I like it. Okay, what did I get, guys? It should say it here. Living spaces. Okay. Broken escalators on super. Yeah, I know they did. Okay, living. Let's see. Where is it? My purchase. Here we go. Hmm. Oh, Alana. So A-L-A-N-A, -A -A? Alana, that's what it's called. So if this costs me, oh, sheesh, $2,796. But that was because it was base price 2100, 2180 plus delivery $99. Cause I, you know, I wasn't gonna get like, <laughs> Uh, like a truck or people to come get it. Plus a carefree protection plan, another $327. Tax was $190. So yeah, total it was $2,780. Oh my God. Guys, it's so expensive to be an adult. I don't like it. I don't like it. It is expensive. What the heck? <laughs> but it is a nice couch. And the couch that I got from before, oh, this one, this couch right here, this was base price 
a thousand dollars so i'm sure with tax and everything is probably like 1300 so for double the more than double the couch i have that one now so yeah okay oh thank you uh luda stafo for the 99 cents <laughs> thank you so much and then we got Phil let's see fillet where'd you go i'll get you that podcast equipment which one you want i don't even know guys because here's the thing like is that weird to start to start a podcast my editor is gonna hate me. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should. What do you guys think? Is it bad? Is it a bad idea? Because I don't think you need much. Like we don't need the ones that like kind of come like that. We just need two microphones. That's literally, no, not two. Maybe four microphones or so because just in case if we wanna have like a few more guests with us, so that's the only thing I think at least. So yeah. Um, if you guys have bought anything from my from my um, Amazon wish list, thank you so much. Like, I don't really need a lot, but like everything here, like that's pretty freaking awesome, you know? Let's see. Um, oh, actually, is Richard an actual rooster? Um, Richard can be an actual rooster. I don't know. I actually had, I, I told Brenda, my friend on here, I was like, I actually kind of do want a rooster. I obviously, I feel like here probably wouldn't be the best for him unless he was like potty trained, which I highly doubt a rooster is going to be potty trained. But I don't know. Is that weird to want a rooster now? I don't know. That, that is kind of weird. I was going to look up something and then I forgot already. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. Pod, was is that what I was gonna look up? Podcast mics. Yeah. So let me show you guys. Because, like, like I don't really want this thing. This is like a lot. This is like you needed a whole ass desk. You know, I don't really want all that. Like. Just microphones. I feel like all you need is microphones or something that can connect to a camera or something. Like, this is a bit much. Like, we, I don't need all that, you know? So, just like simple microphones would be nice. But, again, that's if I do it. And, <laughs> yeah, my editor is going to hate me unless I get a different editor for, for that. Um, no, this is still my same chair as before, the one that gave me back problems. It doesn't so much now that I have like this pillow right here, um, so it's fine now. Um, but yeah, I don't know. It's a lot to think about, guys. It really is. Oh, man. Kim's and these. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to do. I was going to look up. See, I have the worst memory, guys. Y'all need to help me. Um, hold on, let's just, I just want to have the chat up so that way I can just look at you guys, look at it for you guys. Uh, Norma Jelly. Let's turn off the, there we go. Okay. I haven't gotten any more migraines actually. That's like really exciting. So, yeah, I think I got migraines like towards the beginning of the year, but not, or end of the year, but not lately. Um, a gardener, oh, a gamer chair, sorry. I know, but I don't want anything that's too big. Like, I personally do not like having like a, a back rest. I just want it like nothing, you know? Oops, sorry. I'm all showing my, my, my little chest right here. Um... I know. Yeah, this is this is just the office. It's very plain. Um, my YouTube plaque is around too. I definitely gotta put that up too. Um, let's see what else have you guys said? A drone? I don't know, because here's the thing with drones. Um, drones are not allowed in Vegas and they're not a, well, they're allowed like on, at Red Rock, stuff like that, but they're not allowed on the strip. So I feel like that's where I would really need it. And if I'm not allowed to use it on the strip, then why would I need one, you know? Oh, I think it's neutrino. 
Uh, yes, YouTube money is a hit and miss. They had to basically see two years worth of um, statements in order for them to approve it. So, yeah, that's kind of a lot. Mm, let's see. A sleeper. I know, I, I do want to get like a, a couch, not a couch, sorry, like a bed and all that. Um, I just don't know, because I don't know what I want yet. Like I still want it to be, um, you know, like a, levy, uh, like a bedroom slash workout space. I don't know. My LNG site, yes, I am gonna put it up. I, I have it, I know exactly where it is. I just don't know, I don't know. I'm, again, I'm so bad at decorating. I just feel like I gotta get my house, my life back in order and then I'll, I'll start putting things up. I know, it's just, I'm really bad at decorating guys. Um, I do have the Rode wireless dual mics. They're in there somewhere. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's the thing with the whole podcast thing. It's like, I feel, I feel like unless it's going to be a good business decision, then I'll do it. But if it's, if it's not, then I won't, you know? I know, I did have a sponsorship with Helix Sleep, and that's the mattress that I have downstairs, like my mattress. I just, I don't know if I want a queen size. I kind of just want a full size. Because at the same time, it's not like I'd be having hella people over. It's just, you know, I think just a full size is good enough. And maybe I'd have it against the corner. Maybe I want like one of those that it's like, it's like half couch, half mattress type of thing. I don't know. Ikea, I know. I do need an Ikea. Um, but yeah, no. Honestly, guys, anything that you guys have ever sent to me, whether if it's like a letter, whatever it is, I've kept it all. It's all literally in there right now. And I do want to start putting it out. I do feel like it'd be really nice to have it all out just to kind of have you guys like on my mind at all time. I don't know. That sounds cheesy. But yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Um interior decorator Ugh. it's just buying everything i've bought is so much work so, i'm sorry it's just so much money you know so it's a lot a murphy bed what's a murphy bed look like let me see let me look it up murphy bed oh okay where it's like couch and then it's like a pull out bed okay um that would be nice Maybe. I don't know. I just don't want it to be like much trouble for like if let's say so, someone wants to come over and they just want to like pass out where it's like not a lot of work to get out the bed. You know? I don't know. Let's see. Let's go back to the chat. No, oh, thanks, Ryan. Yeah. I would definitely have JK shit on there a lot. Um... <laughs> my future man needs space keep the queen well if my future man's would be with me then he'd be with me in my bed um art i know i have like i don't have that much art in the house but i definitely want to put that up again i just want to have some of the stuff up first like the bed and all that before i start putting up art um Oh, the Murphy bed is on the wall. No, that's weird. I don't know. I feel like I'd have to, I don't know. I see that a lot in like New York apartments, but I don't know if I want that. The best re Swedish restaurant, I know. I actually used to go to their breakfast a lot back in the day. Oh, thank you, Bob. Work is work. You need a space where you can stop thinking about you to concentrate on you. Aw, thanks, Bob. Honestly, like, I do feel like I need something like that where I can just concentrate on myself. Honestly, I feel like that's what my living room is. I just kind of, I'm just there, and I just hang out, and I just have fun by myself. Like, just watching whatever I want. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I see futons here. Your great nephew with me watching. Aw, Tell your great tell your great nephew I said hello. A pet bunny. No, I'm always scared that they're gonna bite my finger off. Like, have you seen their teeth? They're like super huge. I don't know. That's like ouch. 
a zen room yeah that'd be kind of cool like where it's relaxing oh man i don't know um my family has not visited my house yet i've only had like again kind of what lydia said i've only really had people come over that like help me move in basically um my bunny Gigi is vicious. Yeah, exactly. I, I feel like bunnies are crazy. <laughs> is the thumbnail your view? No, that's not my view. I just want to like go view of like all of Las Vegas. So it kind of shows us I'm not on the strip. It's like off the strip, I guess. Uh, were you scared to buy with everyone? Yeah, everyone was talk talking to me about high prices, interest rate and all that. But it's like, I just feel like prices are just going to go way up. And then eventually, yes, even though interest rates are going to go down, it's going to be more competitive market when it comes to buying a house. Like, let's say if I find a house I really like, there's going to be hella people trying to bid towards that one house, you know? Your office, <laughs> she would call the jelly jar where you brainstorm and mix the jelly. Haha. <laughs> Thanks, Ryan. Um, yeah, I, actually, that'd be kind of cool. The jelly jar. I just seal myself in here. Um, my taste in decoration, ooh. So I have a Pinterest, and I feel like that shows a lot of what I actually like. And it's very like, beside minimalistic, I do kind of like, oh man, hold on, let me pull up my Pinterest and show it to you guys. Pinterest. Dude, when I used to work at Concierge, when we had nothing to do, that's all I would look at. It was kind of, it was kind of cool. I don't know. So I'll show you guys right here. So, oh, that's just a guy who has like a, a closet. And the closet is like a, a secret office. I don't know. <laughs> but besides that one, yeah, like. I don't know. I think this is kind of cool. Um, let's see. What would you call this? I, I don't even know. Like, some people said it was, like, boho. Um, oh, like, I would love to have a home like this. Like, how beautiful is that, you know? Yes, it's not minimalistic, but it's still cozy. Like, that's beautiful to me right there. Um... Shoot. I, and I feel like my couch kind of looks like this, where it's, like, cozy. Um, see, I feel like this is my couch right here. Doesn't it kind of look like it? I don't know. And then I don't even know what you would call this. Oh, my God. Isn't this the cutest thing ever? I don't know. It's really nice. I like it. He's nice. <laughs> Definitely trying to get more into the girly vibes. Okay, there you go. So what would you guys call that style? What would you call it? It's different. I don't know. Earth tones. A garnisa? No, I probably can't do a garnisa this year. Um... A green space. I know, lots of plants would be super nice. Just lots of sunlight, I love that. Um, and to speak easy? Oh my God, I kind of love that idea. Why do I love that idea? Tell me why. <gasps> Ain't nothing but a heartbreak. Okay, sorry, I'm just thinking back to you boys here. Neutral and earthy, I like that. Comfy, cozy, modern, boho, but minimalistic. I need it to be minimalistic because I just don't like clutter, guys. You guys know this already. Contemporary, yeah. So, a plant room. I do kind of wish eventually one day I would have a a greenhouse that's like attached to the to the house, you know? Oh, uh, what's up, Shanta? Oh, uh, look at you and your new office space. Congrats again and best wishes, sweetie. Thank you, Shanta. Always love seeing you. Yeah, this is the office. It's very simple right now, but I will, I will. 
<sighs> I will decorate it one day. I don't know to what. I just, I know I will. Just, just give me time, guys. Like, my apartment at Jade, it took a long time for me to decorate it. And I don't know. It's, it's going to take a while. I just need to feel like I'm at home. I need to feel like this is mine. And I need to just get my life back in order because, guys, moving just takes a lot out of you, <laughs> for sure, you know? Oh, what's up, Jerry? If you do a podcast, call your house, your set, and deduct it from all your taxes. Yes, Jerry. Absolutely. I Yeah, when I did my taxes this year, my office was, like, from Jade. It was definitely part of the, um, the tax deductions or whatever you call it. Um, yeah, so it was definitely part of it. A thousand percent. Um... <laughs> Yeah, and I guess this could be like my office plus my bedroom or my living room. So we'll we'll see if they do it. Cause yeah, I'm I'm down to have it. The strip is Norma's office. That's right. Oh, thank you, Shanta. A little more to get a small accessory for me. Ah, oh, thanks, Shanta. Yes, Shanta. There is so much, like, especially in the kitchen. Like, I just want so much more cookware. I don't know if it was on there. Like, I want to get a juicer. Um, Oh man, guys, shutters, shutters are so expensive. Like I'm thinking about getting like, cause these are temporary right here. These are made out of paper <laughs> and oh, I got quoted for roller shutters, roller shades, whatever, $3,500 for shades. Oh my God. That is way too much. Like at this point I'm thinking like, oh my God, should I just go through Home Depot and do it myself? But then Lydia's like, if you buy something cheap now, you're gonna have to pay for it again later. I don't know. I'm like so sad that everything just costs so much. Seriously guys, it really does. Oh, I, I so sad. <laughs> Thanks Shanta. Can't wait to see your place all done. <laughs> Thanks Shanta. Um, I mean, it's, I would say this is about 75% done. Again, I just need my second bed, my, yeah, the third bedroom, the last one, the guest bedroom to be fully done. I just need my shades and kitchen stuff and decoration up. So besides that, I'm 75% done. But yeah, thank you, Shanta. You're, you're the sweetest, I swear. I'm like, I, I can't just, wait, do they install it too though? Is it gonna be cheap? Really? Ikea, you're lying to me. Don't tease me because, oh my God, let's see. Idea roller shades. <laughs> oh, they do. They do. What? Wait, what? I feel like you're lying to me right now. But wait, what if I need them customized? Like, is that a thing? Oh, okay, so they pull it. They have ones where they pull it down. Oh my God, don't tell me this. If I don't have to spend $3,500, I, I would cry. Oh my God, that would be beautiful, guys. Oh, thank you, Shanta. <laughs> Kitchen stuff. Thanks, Shanta. I appreciate it. Oh my God. I think the most thing I'm more excited for when it comes to kitchen stuff, again, is a juicer. And for, like, a, uh, what's it called? Um, pots and pans because none of my pots and pans match right now. So that's definitely something that I would be excited for is pots and pans that not only match, that don't get ruined every time I cook in them. And I could dishwash them, maybe, I don't know. Do you guys have any like, I don't know, recommendations? Please tell me, cause, <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, but yeah, thank you again, Shanta. You're, you're always the sweetest, you're the best. I know. We all need Shanta to adopt us. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Dang. Okay, so what you're saying is Ikea. But will it be customizable? I mean, I've gone to Ikea. Like, here at Ikea, I think I've gotten some bath mats. That's all I've really gotten for the house lately from Ikea. Hmm. I'll have to check with them. <laughs> but yeah 
Ah, uh, thanks, Shanta, again for the 50. Get good cookware. Dude, I know. Cookware, what the heck? Why is cookware so expensive? I don't understand. Like, a good pot or a good pan, I mean, minimum $50 for one sometimes. Like, what the hell? I do not understand. I know Nintendo. Um, I don't know, but yeah, what do you guys recommend? Gordon Ramsay Hexlad cookware? How much is that? Let's see. I didn't even know Gordon Ramsay had cookware. Gordon Ramsay Hexclad. <gasps> A six piece cookware from Hexlad is $400. No. I love Gordon Ramsay, but no, that, that's too much. That's too much, guys. It's too much. A good cast iron, yes. I don't know. I'm always afraid of cast irons. I feel like I'm going to burn my place down with cast iron ones, you know? Because, like, they hold so much heat. And then my stove is electric now. Like, I've noticed it's kind of hard to take off some of the stains and stuff. I don't know. But, yeah. Ooh, Hexide discount at Costco. I like that. No, serious. Ugh, I don't know. Try not to spend money for months. I try. Um, but I, at the same time, like, I do need a vacation, guys. I really do. I haven't gone out in years. Like, for a real vacation? I don't know. Like, I know I went to Napa last year, but that was, like, for two nights. Kind of. Something like that. I don't know. Maybe I should go to Costco. <gasps> do they have shades at Costco? I wonder if they do. It's just so expensive. It really is expensive, guys. Oh my God. I don't know what to do. That's true. T Costco takes back anything if any issues. This is true. A glass stove top cleaner. Hmm. Maine was not really a vacation. Maine was, I was literally there for filming. Yes, I took you know, a little bit of time to kind of like walk around and stuff like that, but yeah. No, I definitely need like a real vacation, but what, you know what's funny? It doesn't matter where I go, I'm going to film anywhere. It doesn't matter if it's Cancun, Maine again, New York, London, whatever. I don't know. I will film because I, I need to do it. <laughs> I don't know. Need expensive guys. And I love filming. I love just... I don't know, vlogging or just filming wherever I want to go, you know? But yeah. Oh, thank you, Peter. Peter Faulkner for the, it's, okay, I'm so bad. Is that Euro? For the 70, the 0 0.79, thank you. I appreciate it. At Disneyland, I know. It's just so hard for me to do anything outside of Vegas because I feel like I need to be here to just, you know, Film, edit, there's just so much I gotta do. But yeah. Ooh, Lake Tahoe. I would love to go to Lake Tahoe. That would be amazing. My New York trip. So I, I do have a friend that is in New York right now. Oh, it's a British pound. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. Um, I do have a friend that's in New York right now, but I don't know if I could just go. I don't know. It's just hard, guys. Like, I feel like I was ahead. And then I had to move and I put so much of my effort and mental space into moving that now that's all I can think of, you know, is just moving. And now I have to like get back into it. I don't know. It's just hard. Let's see. Um, oh, thanks, Karina. Yeah, again, if you guys ever, I know usually I'm outside live streaming, but if you ever see me out in public please say hi or if I'm out live streaming I do not mind if you come and find me honestly but yeah I know moving is definitely draining like I definitely saw a shift in my mood for about a month before and up until now you know oh Lydia's home damn <laughs> Lydia got home fast well, I mean, I have been live streaming extra time since she left. Let me make sure, how, how's my... Uh, okay. All right, I'm not bad. I'm at 14% and 
I have my cable right here. I'm gonna put it in. Okay. There you go. A Bora Bora trip? Oh, I know. I should take a Bora Bora trip. I know I had said that Bora Bora kind of sounds more like a honeymoon thing, but who knows when that will happen, you know? So I do want to go to Bora Bora. I got to make it happen. I got to make it happen soon, guys. A staycation? No. <laughs> Bora Boring? That progress. What's wrong with Bora Bora? Wait, what do you mean? Is Bora Bora boring? I know you're there because of like the ocean and the waters and all that. Is it, but is it actually boring? I know everybody keeps trying to get me to like go to a Disney cruise. I would love to do that. Oh, thanks Shanta. That'd be fun if you could tag with Pomsi and Greta on a trip collab. I know, dude. I was so like, when I saw that they went to Australia, I was like, <laughs> take me because damn. Australia sounds amazing. And I, sometimes you think about it as like, this world is so small, but yet it's so big. Like Australia to me literally feels like a whole nother planet away. I don't know. It sounds weird to say, but it kind of is, you know? Um, yeah, like I would love to go to Greece. Santorini sounds awesome. Oh, I see. Okay, reverse psychology. Um, I know. And I'm supposed to go to Cancun. So I guess we're, we're, I guess we're going to go to Cancun. Not a thousand percent, but most likely. Um, Brazil. I want to go everywhere, guys. And I feel like I just need to get started already. Because, uh, you know, no one's getting younger. <laughs> no one's getting younger. Time is passing. Oh, Japan, yes, Maldives. See, here's the thing, like, I'm not good at planning too far in advance. So, I don't know. Cause like, I, my friend, she was telling me, yeah, we're gonna go on a Disney cruise December, 2025. I was like, what the heck? That is so far away from now. Like, I, I could not fathom what December 2025 is gonna be. Like, hey, what if I end up being married before then? Just kidding, I don't know. Ugh, I know. Puerto Rico or Brazil would be nice, for sure. I know, I just, the thing is that I have to be ahead. I definitely have to be ahead when it comes to like YouTube stuff and all that. So yeah. All right, guys, um, aren't Disney cruises packed with kids? I'm sure they are, but it's okay because I don't have to take care of any of them. <laughs> you know, if that's kind of weird to think about. But yeah, Antarctica, ooh. I kind of don't mind doing that. I would do that. Why not? You know, why not? I know, my room does need something. I am very like white and beige tones up in here. But yeah. I know, Richard's gonna come with me anywhere I go. I will be in London and he, <laughs> he'll he be there with me too. Uh, and Ikea, run. I guess I'm gonna have to go to Ikea soon and check out the, the shutters and all that stuff. We'll see, we shall see guys. Okay, um, but yeah, what do you guys think about, we have to do a, a what's it called? Code word of the week. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Juicy Fruit. The walls are too wide. Put some wall decals or something. <laughs> um, I do have to put art. You're right. I do have to put art up, put some shelves up, something. Just something to make it bigger. Make, I don't know. Just make it look better. But yeah, thank you, Juicy Fruit. But yeah, what do you guys think? Um, hmm. Because what's my video coming up? I'm not gonna say what's my video coming up, but yeah. <laughs> I, I like housewarming. What do you guys think about housewarming? Where it's like, you know, cause you guys got to see the housewarming. Obviously, at least I hope, there's not gonna be any, um, whatchamacallit? There's not gonna be any copyright music. So, <gasps> I like Champagne Talk too. Oh, 
Okay, what do you guys think? Either housewarming or champagne talk. All right. <sighs> okay, guys, I gotta go. I have to do a little bit of work. And yeah. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for being here with me. Um, if you did get anything from my Amazon wish list, thank you so much. Again, you guys did not have to. Um, if you did donate anything on Super Chats, thank you, thank you so much. I love you guys forever. Um, but yeah, you guys are the reason why this was even able to happen. Like, if I didn't have your guys' views, like, I would not be anywhere, you know? Um, but yeah, thank you so much. Like, literally, you guys really mean a lot to me. And I don't know. I've been told that, like, I care about what you guys think a lot. And of course, like, why wouldn't I, you know? So, but yeah, because you guys are my everything. All right. Well, I'm going to go before I get too emotional here. Because, yeah, it's been a long, long time from moving, well, from buying the house, moving, get everything set up, just everything in between has been crazy. Oh, thank you, Shanta, again. Much love. Have fun. We all love Shanta, guys. For reals. Shanta's the best. Oh, my God. But, yeah, thank you, Shanta. I always love you. All right, guys, I'm going to go... I'm going to go work. I'm probably not going to go anywhere. I literally have to be here and just work more. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good night. Um, yes, I probably will shed a tear at some point tonight just because this whole process has been very emotional for me. So, yeah. All right, guys. I love you so much. Be safe. Don't jaywalk. Comment, like, subscribe. And on Friday when my video comes out, as always, please make sure you watch it ASAP. Like, share, all that because... I need your help. Now that I have a mortgage, I I have no option but to work <laughs> a lot, you know? All right, guys. Have a good night. Bye.